Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're going to be playing some Madara again today. <laughs> Second day in a row. I'm just kidding. This is awesome. Yes, Can't wait. This is awesome. Uh, we set up the scenario a little bit. We'll get into it quicker than usual. Got to stall for a couple minutes while everyone shows up after they got their notifications. Hello everyone joining live. I see Roz here, Buell's here. Hello, hello. Uh, afternoon from the West Coast. Nice. Nice, nice. A nice two in the afternoon. Nope. Three in the afternoon-ish. Three in the afternoon for you. Sweet, sweet. Oh, Janet's here. Hello, Janet. Are you all hey, ready for your big Janet. day tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming congratulations in order with like a new house or something. Uh, you said you're moving into a new home. I, I didn't say that yesterday, but congratulations on that. Hi, Matt. But moving sucks. Yeah. Hey, Matt. How's yeah. it going? Three o'clock. Nice. Oh, Jess is here. Hi, Jess. Hey, hey, hello, hello. All right. So we're going to be playing um, Madara today, uh, obviously. You clicked on the link or the thumbnail or, you know, title and all that stuff. Uh, Elaine's here. Hey, as a good Canadian, I have to start with that. Nice to be here. <laughs> Finally caught on the series. First time catching you live. Jo Man, Josiah, Josea, Josea the Fire Snake, however you say that. Uh, welcome. I, I Welcome. We'll, well, hopefully, I don't know if we'll keep playing this as aggressively as we are now, but that, I assume that would happen. People are going to find this series over the next many months, and if we're still playing, I assume we'll still be playing, like we did with Gloomhaven, Tainted Grail, all that stuff, you know, takes many months, if not years, to uh, play through those games. Um, but we went pretty aggressive at the start and played, like, tons of long streams, had some fun with you guys, you know, played for, like, a week straight, seven-ish days, did, like, five streams in that time. Some of them were over eight hours. So people catching up, I know, can be difficult with these, these campaigns. Usually I like to start out where the nice shorter episodes, you know, work on one scenario at a time, People can kind of catch up easier. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming others will show up uh, throughout the series. So it's always cool to see that. I'm, I'm glad to see that people are finding it. And they're not finding it after we're all done and gone. Yeah, they can still join so in. So it's cool that's like only we're in our like second week of playing it. Third yeah, week, second week because I'm back to work now. Yeah, yeah we second, second week off, of yeah. playing it and people are still catching up through that or, you know, skip some of it. Just join in where, they, where they're at. But I'm glad to see people are showing up mid mid campaign because sometimes you play too quick nobody can catch up and you're done and gone and then you know no one could join in live so That's hopefully true. this is i'm assuming based on the description of the rule book this game is really long and if we keep playing we'll be playing months and months from now so plenty of time in there where we maybe will only play like once a week and that gives time for people to kind of catch up so it's good to see people still showing up also funny that you say that because twin jace also says hi robin mel my first time live but can't stay long going to play gloom just wanted to say, really enjoying your playthroughs of this one. Well, awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so there's a few few people that are new. Welcome. Uh, Janet also says, I've been in a hotel for a month looking oh, forward to being back home. Yes, so that's the worst. Oh, that's crazy. At least if you were in your home until today and then you move. But I've yeah, being in a hotel, that. no, yeah, we've never, never had, had to do, had to do that. that. But, but I've heard of that yeah. happening. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, congrats. Congrats on not living in a hotel. Yes, yes. It's exciting. Uh, yeah. Layla's here again. Not sure how long she can keep her eyes open, but she's here for now. Nice, nice. nice. Dan's aggressively watching the stream. <laughs> this stream? <laughs> aggressively or watching the stream, yes. As <laughs> <laughs> we're aggressively playing. Oh, and John B's just arrived home from vacation. Nice, nice. Welcome. Where'd you go, John? Anywhere cool? Tell us somewhere it's amazing. Somewhere cool. And we'll judge whether it's really cool or not. <laughs> you may not want to say. You don't have to say you don't want to. It's fine. You can be vague. You can be like, I went camping or I went on a cruise. You don't have true, to say true. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, vague is good. Yeah. You don't have to give me well, ad home now, so you can say I don't need addresses and room numbers or anything like that. <laughs> or what, the, the, you know, what was in the car, what was in the backpack. I don't, I don't need an itinerary or anything like that. It's all good. Uh, Oh, Larry's being funny. Hi, all. Enjoying another great session of Mel's Gaming Table with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I think that's a typo. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> oh, uh, we God. downsized and needed to wait for a tennis to move out so we can move in. Ah, okay. okay. That okay. makes sense. That oh, makes yeah, because now that you retired and you can just enjoy. So well, John went to Door County with my son's family. Oh, okay, that's so nice. like a family thing. That's, that's nice. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, soon we'll get to do stuff like that here. Soon. We hope. We hope. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, Twin Jays. Ah, uh, I think it makes sense. Yes. yes oh, Twin I Jays. get it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Fellow Canuck as well, but north of Tio. Okay. 
Uh, Bose recommend your too many bonus playthroughs as well. I uh, would like to see more Splice and Dice content. <laughs> so would I. That was a personal request. So would I. So would I. <laughs> yeah, eventually I'll get back to Too Many Bones. Uh, I definitely play some more Too Many Bones. But we do have other Cloud Spire games on the way. Not on the way yet, but, you know, coming soon, hopefully, PM, you know, whenever they arrive. So some of the new games that they have, like the uh, Poplamachus reboot, when that's eventually ready. And uh, I always forget the name. Burn Cycle? Burn cycle. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to playing some new stuff from Chip Theory in the future. But yeah, I'll definitely dabble in some Cloud Spire and some Too Many Bones as usual uh, when the time is right. But man, getting through the backlog of games that I've not played on the channel yet is what I'm kind of focused on right now. And enjoying some of these campaign games again. It's nice to get into like a big campaign game. Like Too Many Bones is cool. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It has a campaign mode, but it's not as like as long as deep and as rich, right? It's kind of like an add-on little after the thought kind of thing but it's still cool but yeah i do like this this whole like epic like this is epic and and yeah, i like playing through this stuff right now but yeah don't worry there'll be more too many bones eventually but this is not the too many bones channel not it's not rob's too many bones table <laughs> as much as i'd like it to be all right anyways all right hello tara okay uh we are gonna get started here doing our tradition of uh, let's check out bgg's our ranking overall for madara in today's episode now, I closed and opened this because I rebooted this computer multiple times, but I don't know if it loaded this from cache or from the website. The 763, is that what it was yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me refresh the page. Oh! 755! That's a big jump. Big jump. All right, people are actually watching the series, and it's all our fault. Now, now I know. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. Um, but no, it's definitely that people are getting it for sure. It's like right now that wave is flooding yeah. of people who got in on that second Kickstarter, and they're actually getting it to the table, and lockdown's lifting people playing it. You know, a couple of people from here, I'm sure, reviewed it that didn't have it reviewed or added to the collection or I whatever. Did. Yeah, so did I, yeah. obviously. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's cool to see it going up. So 755 is where we're at today. I wonder by, by the end of this series, wh wherever we end, I don't know. I'll, I'm curious to see, like, start around 800. Yeah, 799. To yeah, 799. Let's see, let's see where it goes throughout this. I think it's kind of fun. Kind of fun to watch it slowly crawl up the, up the rankings. That's it's amazing, not a new though. game. It's not a new game, which is no. kind of cool, but it's like a new to a lot of people. Because I think on the first wave through, uh, yeah, Gloomhaven like totally overshadowed this game huge. Uh, so yeah, but now Gloomhaven's kind of like had its day. Jaws of the Lion has its day. Now everyone's just waiting for Frosthaven, or realize they never got through Gloomhaven because it was too epic, and uh, I or I had to stop it for COVID, or they're not going to play Frosthaven until they're finished. That kind of thing. But uh, I think people are looking like now for this kind of game again, and the fact it's just delivering is good. So mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see. Okay, uh, back to where we were yesterday. So Spark Notes, uh, I have them open here. We were going main quest. It was called Back to the Vaults or something like that. Uh, so the Spark Notes are the group backtracks into the White Vaults using the secret entrance that Suri originally led them out of. Rook makes sure to put Nightingale on watch, preventing her from recklessly running ahead or even leaving the party. As her appointed knight, Nightingale's safety is directly related to his own now. As her appointed knight, Nightingale's safety is directly related to his own now. Uh, okay. Oh, I see Rook's protecting Nightingale, right? That's what's happening. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Once inside and away from prying eyes, Rook summons Suri to help guide them back to the pedestal where the radiant shard sat atop. He isn't willing to take any risks, and if... Holgrafar was still lurking about, Rook was going to make sure they didn't run into the abomination. Oh no. <laughs> it isn't long before familiar monstrous creatures emerge from the gloom in front of them, blocking their way. And then we're going to the scenario, which is called Retracing Their Steps, if I did that right. So we were on 66. Let me just double check in the physical book here. Yeah, Back to the Vault says go to Retracing Their Steps, page 60, which is this scenario we're on right here. Okay, so retracing their steps. The vaults are a bit more ruined than they were on your last visit. It looks as if the area collapsed after you left. Pits dot the stone floor, and sections of fallen rock block the path to your destination, making the descent a bit harder than before. Across from you to the west, you can see your way back down toward the altar room, but it seems that the platform has been completely destroyed. Even stranger is the twitching animate near the exit. The telltale red glow emanates from within the collapsed suit of armor. However, it doesn't look like it's ready to fight. 
To the north, cave sickles go about their inscrutable business. So if we look down at the map here, all that's laid out. So we start in the bottom right, the four tiles area here. I'm assuming we work our way north-ish. By default, the main flow of the scenario, obviously with flight and jumping and all this stuff, you could do things a little different as we learned in the last scenario. Um, so you can go north here. Uh, you got some red obstacles throughout this room and some pillars and stones and stuff. Some hindering terrain in the middle, which looks like some kind of sarcophagus or something. I don't know. Uh, but a bunch of cave sickles in that room and there's some random loot we're going to put on the board shortly. Then you kind of, I guess, either go to the left, but you have to jump over just a one spacer. Yeah, this one's weird. But I guess like the wood would be the solution there for Rook or someone who can't really jump it that well. I, I don't know. But it's like there's a chance someone's fallen in is what they're trying to say here if you didn't come prepared. Uh, unless I'm misunderstanding the direction of this thing. Or from the bottom right tile, you could go directly left uh, by jumping only over two spots here. That's not the worst. And that you could put down a plank. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and just, just cross this whole thing and skip the whole... Like, the cave sickles are going to come at you no matter what, but, I mean, you could, like, instead of taking a long way around, you could, you know, fight them a little bit and force them to jump over and chase you. But I see here, uh, in the top left, they've added some tiles to obstruct this blue totem so that you can't see it until you actually get on either the top left tile or the bottom left tile. And once you see the blue totem, something will happen. There's a random loot in the top left. But lots of this, like, holes in the ground. So, like, I don't know if that's our way of, like, the cave sickles are going to keep coming and they'll fall in, or is it just meant to mess with us? Well, even to get to the exit, the, there's no straight path. You oh, have yeah, to yeah. jump to get to the exit. Oh, I or see. Fly, I, I guess. see. Oh, yes, yes. There's a tile that goes here yeah. that uh, makes it, uh, yeah, there's no path to the yeah. blue exit. So that's where we may want to use the lumber. I think I only have, they, uh, we only have one plank. <laughs> one plank? Equipped. Uh, so this jump's gonna happen for an agility of ten by by like I'm it's Rook who I'm worried about with the one agility. But maybe Rook doesn't even come over there. Maybe Rook just yeah plays true. on the other side. Yeah, true. But then what if what if this animate they're saying that's down near the exit or whatever uh, comes to life and wants to kill us? Yeah. Or this blue totem spawns something that has a push ability, which this is my call is that we're gonna see an enemy here that finally has like a good push ability. And uh, a couple of us are going to end up down these holes, is what I feel. That's the vibe I get. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I could be wrong. But it just seems like a lot, a lot of uh, deadly or dangerous terrain, whatever they call it in this game. Uh, this is like the most I think we've ever seen in a scenario. Yeah, it is. And only four tiles. It is. But, uh, Maybe Rook can do some pushing in this one with his green. Yeah, hammer. true, true. Uh, Jane's asking how many spaces is the plank? Just, the plank is two. No, not not correct. Uh -oh. Not correct. Oh, uh, it doesn't say. Yeah, because they're, uh, what comes with the game, just like you see those red um, tiles that are on the board, there come the long ones, which are two squares long, and then there's the single ones, which are just one square. Uh, and anytime you use a plank, you can choose whichever one of those you want to use. Okay. So if you just need a one space, you can grab it. So that it just there's not that many two spacers. I think there's only a couple that come with the game, and then there's only a, a couple, maybe two or four that that come with the single space. So even though you may have a ton of uh, planks, and you could like get some again during a scenario by drawing random loot, uh, you only have so many tokens that come with the game. So you you can't get unlimited, but uh, yeah, your choice of what you grab and use. So you okay. don't necessarily have to do the two spacer. But I'm seeing here with this spot is kind of like you probably want to if everyone's going to try to make the exit. This, I don't know who's got good strength that could help. Like you could have Remy as the strength of four. Yeah, be on the other she side. Could be the, no, no, she's got to be on the first side to help everyone jump over giving her strength to agility. Yeah, but the way this is situated. Oh, yeah, people will jump over your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, just yeah. have to be adjacent yeah. to your starting point. Yeah. So you could say Remy because we know she can fly over safely after. So yeah, she true. could add four strength to, let's say, Rook is the worst case with one agility. That's five on the test. You're rolling purple dice, which have a low of one. <laughs> yeah, so you just need to roll like a five or higher total on the two dice. So, I mean, that's pretty good odds. I don't know. And then if he misses, on the other side, you could have uh, somebody with high uh, perception. To try to catch which it. Which would be Zeke with six who then would have to do a six test against the 10 to hopefully pass. If they pass, they catch the person. So this, I think, is putting the whole jump mechanics to the test here, mm. assuming we're not walking around with tons of planks, which we should have got more. 
And I kind of, maybe that's why the chat was hinting at it last time, but uh, we only have one. Well, maybe we all don't even need to go to the exit once we read Yeah, I, like you the... said, I agree, but, yeah. but we don't know. But like, we don't know. It's just cave sickles on the side, so sometimes it sucks to have like a person missing, and we'll see what's on the other side. Yeah. But I assume it's another wave of enemies, probably with that blue totem. Probably we'll at least an animate that it was talking about. Uh, yeah, well, we know he's there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if we look at the uh, retracing their steps, uh, win conditions, if an adventure ends their turn on the blue exit, uh, we'll continue to an alternate path. Uh, lose condition is all adventures are defeated. Something else, continue to alternate path. Uh, there's an achievement this time called Death from Above. Oh. If an adventurer has successfully jumped a dangerous terrain space and then defeated an opponent on the same turn, read the following <laughs> hidden text. And that's so something we check off, right, probably? Yeah. Is it on the sheet called Death from Above? Yep, Death from Above. Perfect. Let's try to get that. Okay, so we have to remember, we have to jump and then kill. Yeah, so we can't just put down uh, planks in this one and just get across <laughs> all the holes with planks or we'd probably never get that done. So it's kind of like telling you if you do it, you do it. Uh, special encounter rules. I don't trust the armor. So while it's on the board, an adventurer may attack or cast a spell targeting the blue objective token. What? What's the blue objective token? Blue objective token, sorry, let me see that. The blue objective token rep represents an animate uh, sitting against the cave walls. When an adventurer enters the space adjacent to this token, read the following hidden text. Okay, so that's the animate they were just talking about in the story. And it says, while it's on the board, an adventurer may attack or cast a spell targeting the blue objective token as if it had eight defense and two purple conviction. If they deal any damage, read the following hidden oh. text. Uh-oh, don't wake it up. So do you want to wake it up? That's a lot do of text. Step okay. on it? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think both are going to wake it up, but I feel like... But yeah, when we enter the space adjacent to it, we can read this, which might tell us more about, like, should we even damage it or anything. Okay. Um, and that seems to be it for here, other than uh, the loot level. Tip, your loot level. It's important to remember that the loot level will get better as players progress to the adventure. So, quit complaining about your mundane, crappy <laughs> items and the garbage abilities on most of your cards and how they take up your entire table, but you feel like they don't do anything. Uh, just keep on trucking. Like, hang in there. The okay. game will get better. We promise. Okay. So they say, but we'll see. So, for sure, I'm going to get till we get to the chance of buying common items. This is how far this series is going to go minimum. We're going to get to the point where we can buy common gear and then use it. Okay. So, if that next scenario we start using this gear, or maybe the second scenario after that, we use the gear, and I feel like, man, this carrot dangling crap, the game's not really changing, it's not getting any more interesting, we might just end right there. I'm calling that now, that's how I feel. When they say things like this, it's like, oh, did they put this in in the second edition of the rulebook after people complain that it's like, you know, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, so far it's been cool, but we'll just see. But that gives me a little worry, seeing that as a tip. Like, uh, hmm, I don't know. Don't, doesn't give me good vibes. All right. Okay, so here's a scenario in our tableau building we've done with our characters uh, from yesterday. Uh, yep, yep. Our messy pile of cards here. <laughs> you know, this game puts Everdell to shame, for sure. Um, all right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, so, help. random loot. There was two loots, right? Yep. Uh, I'll shuffle these. You look away. I don't know what's under them, but you can now pick two random ones uh, and put them on there. On that one and on this one. Okay. Okay. Let's go over there. And the rest, get them out of here. Okay, we've already picked our starting spaces-ish. Do we want to make any adjustments? I don't know. It seems the same as normal, but yeah. I don't know if it's smart. Because, yeah, who's good at dealing with cave sickles? Maybe it should go up front. Yeah, Rook is. I, I, I but don't know. But then again, initiative, two, three, initiative four, just five, makes starting six. positions kind of I silly. I know. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I kind of wish we saw initiative first. Then it would feel like you're a little more in control. But uh, I guess I like, you know, yeah. a little bit out of your control variability is kind of makes sense. Okay, so you're good with that? I'll start flipping. Uh, yeah, do I don't know. Do Remy, Nightingale. Cave sickles one to three, cave sickles four to six, Rook and Zeke. All right, Remy is first. It says, takes up so much table space. I don't have enough, I don't have a big enough table to play it properly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw it in one of the official publisher's videos when I was learning the game originally, and they kind of warned you that you're going to need a big table in one of the like, original Kickstarter videos or something, like uh, an update or something. And I was like, what? Like they're telling people, like, 
this doesn't fit on a standard table you might need like a large table and they kind of point at this giant table they had in the room like this table pretty much works but then they had all this stuff on the floor around it and boxes and bins and i was just like oh my god like <laughs> we we do still have a lot of stuff around us yeah it, it, yeah we could there is table space we probably have like if we weren't 25 yeah. to 30 percent table space left yeah if we weren't filming we could probably fill in some space yeah but. i think it fits fine but mm -hmm. it just feels like very squished because we're trying to fit it on camera but it just yeah. feels like too much space for like one player's area i feel like also if you're playing four player two and two i feel like just controlling one it would be okay right uh maybe you, you i still think it's too much for like one person too many cards for one character and we've only scratched the surface yeah like you could start jamming upgrades onto many things and yeah. you can also get many disciplines and i don't even want like we're not even talking the whole backpack stuff where you can hold more things and you know the backpack guy that holds like six things and you know all this mm -hmm, stuff and, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the mats, mats add even more space. We looked at them, and they don't yeah. work, yeah. I like the organization of those mats, yeah. but uh, just for video, it's like, doesn't make sense to get, like, even more space taken up in the shot, but anyways. Michael says, just use the kitchen table or dining table. No, the true recommendation is use the floor. Yeah, just sit on the floor. <laughs> just uh, move all the furniture to one side of the room and use the floor like a true gamer would. Yeah. All right. Okay, so Remy's gonna go first. It's funny because she could just literally fly over and just getting to the exit is all we technically need to do, but we have some achievements. Yeah, let's that, do that. Let's we have just some end achievements it. that we want to get. That's how we can play more scenarios so, in a weekend or a week night stream. Yeah, it's just it's just have Remy fly to the exit every single time. Yeah. And we could just we could speed right through this game, it'll be great. Exactly. We'll have no money or experience for anything upgrading. No. But I mean, we'll still get through the game, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But there's an achievement and we all know that Rob wants to loot. And we need to get that achievement. Loots for the team, Mel. We all share yes, the gold. Yes, 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 yes. That and is the true. consumables, we pass them around. We use them on each other. That is true. It's not all for me, you know, until we find a unique item that I really want for my characters. And yeah, I'm going to be a little greedy <laughs> with it, of course. Okay. <laughs> so Remy doesn't really need to fly, so I'm just going to walk. Uh, the mats, the mats seven. are, uh, John, they're 10 inches by 24 and a half or 22 and a half. Uh, so they're a little bit wider than normal card game mats. I, I did some measuring uh, after I looked up the official mats. And uh, yeah, so they're four inches shorter than normal card game mats. But they are about a half inch wider or something like that than uh, regular mats. So if you just have a regular card like Magic the Gathering or something, you play on those regular card, you know, tournament mats, um, Key Forge, whatever. Um, one of those mats, but just like four inches shorter, half an inch wider is, is the measurement there. Okay, Remy's just going to move normally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I do have a free attack, so I'm tempted to spend one more SP, move two more spaces, or one more space just to get into... Oh, actually. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? You're just going up there to get beaten down by some cave sickles? Well, potentially, you I know can... they all are together, right? So they're all going to be rolling yeah, whatever this thing. Yeah, but if we thing, can get rid of some of them. They're going to have two teal. Yeah, you can get you get Remy in there enough and still whack one. One. One, You yeah. can kill a couple of them before they get to go. I'm all for it. I can kill one. Sorry, if but I if use my... if you're just going to get near them and, and not do any attacks. If then... I use my adjacent, I'd be here. Or move one space, oh, yeah, then yeah. diagonal, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. I could get into there. Then I would still have to... Mm. All I'm saying is just think forward. Like, if Remy can get in and make one shot, if maybe, get, maybe, or two shots. I can get in there and make two shots, but the problem is I'd have to take a break attack if I wanted to get in here to be able to hit two different... No, no, you just want to kill one. Okay. If you could take one out... And, and then, then the nightingale next nightingale. Hopefully take out. But well, you might be able to take out one with the with the youth user. Sometimes it works with these guys. True. I might I might also use her ability to get additional chances on hitting. I do have now a once per turn reroll off this amazing, amazing unique wand that we found. Amazing. Uh, and then also uh, my once per encounter, or sorry, once per encounter, reroll, another once per encounter reroll. 
So maybe I can get in there and do some euthanasias and like one shot a couple of them. Because if we can get rid of two of them before they but, go. But all I'm saying is like think that through before. I, if you were just getting Remy close, but no, no, not no. making she a hit. She was going to go in and oh, hit okay. at least because they do have a free attack. But yeah, if, we, as if well. we're not killing any, then it's like two teal dice and power die. Oh, and plus they have extra defense right now. So good luck. So we may, on the alternative, is just wait for them to kind of come to us. Because they don't all have line of sight, remember, because there's like obstructing terrain and stuff. So we could, like this orange one can't see us back here. So it would do some kind of move and attack with range four. I feel like they're all going to pretty much do that. Mm hmm But if Remy's going to get attacked anyways, because she would be first on the initiative line. Well, depends as close as, right? Yeah, but nearest if, opponent. But if I stayed where I was, or no, if I no, just I'm just closer. saying, like maybe do something else. I'm just saying, let's talk it out mm -hmm, before you just mm -hmm. rush in at some cave sickles that are extra defense, two teal dice, and a black. You do have to kill them. Yeah. If we can kill one of them, then we that then we're not just talking one teal, one orange, one in power, one defense. Yeah. And if we can kill two, then we're back to the normal like couple orange dice. Or... Yeah, which is mandatory. So yeah, if we can do that, then let's go gung ho. But let's count out some movement for both the characters that go before. And Nightingale's only has uh, six moves, so six move. Yeah, and if she wants to do two euthanasias, she won't be able to if she moves anymore. So one, two, three, four, five, six. SOI. Yep, good SOI to one. So she can definitely get in and start hammering on this one. Also, we have the bottle perfumes. So if we want to give out some extra, um, but they have to be within SOI, some extra SP, but it's any time. So before we move right now, if you want to throw, like you can drink your bottle or I can use one from Zeke and give Remy extra SP. And then Remy could get in some extra shots if, if you know, that kind mm -hmm. of idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and make sure we kill some cave sickles. But you got to think of that stuff before she gets all the way in there. So there's some thought that has to be done here, I think, because you know, three cave sickles is a little annoying, but once this they get the we we rarely ever see them have the four buff. I know, and they have that right now, and they will have that when they all move up to us. So, yeah. We could stay back then, but then I'm not doing anything. Yeah, they're not all like 100% in SOI of each other right now. I'm just talking about if some of them move and some move to shoot at somebody, some at their range. If you're adjacent, all that kind of stuff. Like, they, not, they won't necessarily all be in that same configuration. Maybe they will. Because not, you have a push attack? No. no it's, oh, it's only oh, Rook, it's, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Rook. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so we might be okay, because this one isn't, isn't SOI from this one. But then this one... Uh, no SOI here, right? Because this blocked. Right. So just that he'd have three others. This one? This one is the worst one. If they're all just attacking from where they are, so but some of them will attack just the person who's adjacent. So okay, well I could just <laughs> get them to move forward then by just moving up. Yeah. A little bit, and then not, no, go not up doing and anything. if you can go up and smash one. I can if, if definitely need... hit one two times. So hopefully in the done. two times I could take it yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then we're sitting pretty. Er. Yeah. And then if Nightingale can actually kill one, even better. Then, then we're like, okay, I think. And then with some counterattacking. Do you counter want to yeah, yeah. stay back? I think if you can for sure do two attacks, or yeah. if you need some SP, let me know. No, I, I, I don't, don't. Because okay. I can move diagonally Okay, perfect. with that. So I can move like this. And then I already paid. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. I have seven, but we'll stay there. Um... So this guy, though, has two defense, because there's... Uh, this one, yeah, yeah, he's like the... Yeah, I, the I can four. draw a SOI line of sight okay. to, like, all four of them. Everyone. Yeah. Okay, so oh, I don't want to exhaust that. He's the extra shield. Just the other card. Okay, so let's use the free attack first. Okay, and we are rolling a white and a purple. And there's no way you could move to, like, this one that has less defense, right? Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not without spending an SP, which I could do. Uh, but this one, I, I mean, I have two attacks on him. So even with the defense, I'm hoping that. Okay. okay. I don't know. I have I some so. rerolls. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we can use dice tree. We have room for now. Dice 
right here. Oh, this is not, I got too white, not a purple. Like John says, why do you, why do you always try to aggro all the cave sickles at once? Try staying five away from them, so they only do one attack. Uh, I think we're going for the strategy of <laughs> kill before being killed. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If you kill them, then you don't have to worry about them hitting you at all. But obviously some will hit us anyway, no matter what we do. Yeah, okay, well. But yeah, one, one attack from them. But then one attack from a two teal dice and empower, not what I really want to be doing. But uh, yeah. And also too, if you're up in there, <coughs> up in the, up in the fray of it, I have some dodge stuff, free dodge as well. So then potentially I can, for this one, I can counter even. And as we saw in the last one, we were able to take some of them out as they attacked us. Yep. With a dodge. So we'll I don't see, know. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. A little risky, but. Mel just has to roll really good. Okay. Uh, okay, 11. Uh, so he has one, or sorry, he has uh, two ten, shields, so he's 10, 10. So that's one. And then do I want to use anything else? So, so for first, let me count out my, each two shields does two damage. So that's another, so you're at three so I'm now. at three. You can do four, five. Do a passive four, plus one or anything five. on this one? No. Or I could re-roll the four. Do I, would I think, oh, ow, I have one more. The star gives me one more. Okay, oh, so yes, the star nice. would give me one. That's four. Yep, and then I'll use both, both those, of right? these, which is enough. Boom. And that technically leaves me two SP, which is good because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get that now, Dan. I get that. Mel just went, see, did you see that though? She was trying to Leroy <laughs> Jenkins me at the start and I went, hold on, Leroy, Leroy, get back here. I get that joke now. Stop, Leroy. Yeah, uh, it's all fun and games until we looked into it and I forgot the part about how that was all staged. So it's not as cool and not as funny, but it's, you know, that they made that up as like a planned <laughs> video to get people to their guild or whatever. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's not as cool anymore. Oh, Bob, I didn't see you say oh, yeah. it, too. Yeah, thanks, Bob, because we watched yeah, your yeah. video. Thank you. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Uh, I did admit that I do do that. Yeah, yeah. So That's why I looked down. I'm like, why is Remy surrounded by cave sickles? What are you doing for your first turn here? I was just reading the <laughs> chat, and I was kind of like zoned out. And I'm like, hold on. Remy's going in there, and you weren't even adjacent to one at all? So I was like, wait, she's not ranged. What are you doing? Like, she's going to stand there and wait? No, no, we're, we're and good. And get pounded on by a bunch of cave sickles? We're good. And I still, I'm going to leave myself these two. Um, so I can potentially do some counter attacks if needed. Still funny, yes, it was still yeah, funny. Yeah, still funny, just not as cool. Yeah. Okay, Remy's gonna be done. <laughs> now let's see Nightingale. Nightingale can do the same thing. You kill one of them, and then we're we're rocking. Oh yeah, yeah. Just gotta. That's all I gotta do. Is just kill one of them. Yeah. We talked out our plan. So let's this see. one's SOI is like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so, like so it's two only others. two others. So it's so two no two extra defense. No. Nope. Yeah, you're good. No extra defense. Okay, Nightingale, spend one. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, either way, I think I'm beside some bad terrain. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One. One. She's got a line of sight without getting blocked. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now what? Now what? Yeah, I guess we're doing a euthanasia. I'm gonna try to uh, try to do a one shot. Hopefully, uh, white casting die. Bob uh. says <laughs> in a couple of rounds, Mel will say it's not my fault. <laughs> Maybe. Give me a high roll. Six. Yeah. I'll take the six. That's so okay. 12. Uh, so the conviction die is a white and a purple. Yeah, so I have 12. That's good. Uh, we hope so. Uh, and they rolled a nine. Got it. So, poof. Yes. Okay, we're rocking these cave sickles. Uh, that was also one card. Because we only have... Mm. Yes, so I'm just going to take that oh, off yeah, for now. Oh, yeah, I didn't shuffle this yet today. Let's... Uh, Jam some cards in. So that is a loot. So dropping them all. Shuffling tiny cards. 
I will apologize, but not for this. Six monies. All right. So far, this has worked out. Okay. So I take the extra SP. I want not an SOI, so it doesn't make any sense. I don't think you need I, it right now. I can now. stretch the SOI, but I don't think I reach this guy, so it doesn't matter with yeah. the plus two. All right, done. Done? Lent Gale's done. Okay, Cave Sickle, one. Is your opponent adjacent? No. Is your opponent within range four? I think so. One, two, three, four. Yes. Yes. Make an attack. So there is... It's going through minus one of hindering terrain. Okay, and there's two others, so it's two orange die. Uh, only one other is within SOI. Which one's attacking? Red? Yeah. Only one other is within SOI. Let's go to our above cam. Count the spaces away. One, two, oh. three, four, five spaces. <laughs> sorry. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, it's so okay. <laughs> it's one and one, but I am going to dodge, actually. So uh, let's use my free dodge, exhaust to dodge. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I won't be able to counter any of them because I'm not close enough, but All well, right. that's fine. You need something with reach. Oh, look at that. That's a good roll. That's four. So now I have nine, ten, fourteen. I need something with reach. Yeah, you're right. Um, and yes. And we 11. have eleven, so we are good. Defense. Then move to be adjacent to the opponent with the most damage within movement range. You're might be the only one within movement range. Cause Six. let's see. One or oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, oh, sorry, this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, four. Okay, so it is me. I, I, I don't know. Nope. It's like whoever's the most damaged, so it's tied, but then tied to the Remy, right? Me. So he's going to move yeah. uh, to here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now he's in SOI of two others. Now he's also adjacent. That's wonderful. Okay, so then... Oh, but you used the free No, nope, that's okay. I got another one. Or I have a, I have a, another free dodge. But not a free counter. And then I have I have money. Yeah, why don't you use this one first when they're not within range? So let's say you did that. Yeah, because I was... And then just... the one that you possibly could counter yeah, off of. I didn't look at everything that they did. You're yeah. right, you're right. Okay. Well, we know these guys. And then... Then make an attack. Okay, so we're dodging with now this one. Because now I can counter. If you're successful. Okay, we got three, so I have 13. Um, now... He's rolling two orange because now the guy's in his SOI. And we got 13. So that's a hit. Uh, and then they do one, two. Uh, oh, I get an additional one because uh, I didn't, didn't roll hit? the skew. Oh, yes, they didn't. Yeah. When making a dodge, if you don't roll a skull, I get plus one. Yes. So I had 14. You're right. So then they didn't hit. Boom. So now, now I counter. can counter, which this says uh, I get to counter for free. Yeah, punch him in the face. So let's roll or two stab white him die. With your stabby stabs. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, that is he doesn't have any extra defense. That's one. Uh, symbols. Symbols do another uh, three, so that's four. But I could re-roll this two. Yeah. Yeah, let's re-roll this too. Yes, okay. So now we have 12. Mm -hmm. That's four, five, six, seven, seven damage. Okay, he's dead. So no follow-up also on that. Nicely okay. done. Uh, then, yes, re-roll the two, got you, okay. Then we're going to do the same thing now for the purple, but now we don't have to worry about all the um, extra die, which is good. So he's going to make an attack. Do I have anything else? I could. I could dodge for one. No, let's wait. Yeah, if you successfully dodge, then the other SP to do an attack. Yeah, but I wait but until he moves closer. The, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Bingo. He's going to attack. Which one is this? Purple. Next one. Okay, yeah. Uh. There's one other, so we got a uh, There's orange no minus and a white. One on that. No minus one on that. Oh yeah, that other one was minus one oh. on the first hit. Yeah, but it didn't hit anyways. Seven, so I block that with my t ten. Sweet. Okay. Uh, he moves adjacent. Yep. Then he's gonna move adjacent. He's gonna attack again. I'll spend pay one 
to dodge. Okay, I get two, but this is passive. That says when I make a dodge, if I don't roll a skull, I get another one. So that's three, mm -hmm. so 13. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the right dice. Yeah. I'm just making sure I'm like, one's gone now. I just rolled the right. Uh, 13. So a hit, plus yeah. two from the shields, two damage. Yep, that's fine. Can't counter that. That's too bad, but that's okay. Still good. Okay. Now he's gonna make a follow-up attack. Oh, he's gonna try to inflict poison. Hold on. Oh, one sec. Actually, oh, it's once per encounter. That's the point that you want to no. use that? I don't think so. No. I feel like you might want to do a reroll when you're jumping over a chasm if you can. No, it's the one that lets you ignore the symbols. Oh, okay. But Yeah. yeah. You want to do it when there's like a bigger monster hitting you, I think. Yeah, true. Like we saw yesterday. Uh, yeah, okay. So then this can inflict poison force nine. So my conviction is two purple, but I do have two uh, white upgrades for conviction. So force nine, uh, force oh, of seven. I can reroll one of my die. What's it doing to you? Poison. Oh, the follow-up, yeah, yeah. But somebody could get rid of it with a bomb before I go, so it doesn't even hit me. Yeah, I'll just take it. I'll just take it and then I'll maybe I'll get Someone Rook. Someone with an SOI, like yeah. Nangil. Or Rook, or can, Rook. he's going to move up there anyway, so Two. I'll just take the poison. Okay. So Sakambra's saying, uh, always think you're saying SOL for a millisecond before my brain registers SOI. <laughs> Sometimes no, it is no. SOL. <laughs> a SOI is what you check before rolling dice to see if you can, and SOL is what usually happens after you roll the dice. <laughs> and Kanji's here, I see. You. Hey, Rob Mel, do you all have water, or, oh, do you all hate water, Loa, as much as I do? Um, uh, yeah, I they're did annoying. At first. No, they're annoying. But they are annoying, Not yes. being able to use your symbols off your dice. Yeah, that, that can be annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've heard it also says, uh, yeah, we'll be done in 10 yeah, minutes yeah. as well. Because uh, RC is saying, he heck yeah, nice job, first round, guys, not even over yet. <laughs> and we're like almost emptying the board here. I know, and all those people that were yelling at their screen when I ran in I there. I just said stop and I let's know, think it through to make sure you're not going in there activating all these guys. They all hit you. We are all back here and we do nothing. I know, I know. I know. And it's like, I, it was bye, lucky. Remy. It was, bye. It's definitely lucky. Bye, Remy. See ya. <laughs> okay. Next. Orange. He is going to attack me from there. Uh, with... Is he line of sight? Center of his thing? Does it touch uh, center of his thing? I think so because it looks like it's kind of cut off on the edge. That's it right there. Oh, okay. So no. What do you think? No, it does touch the corner. I so he doesn't have to move. The stupid wings coming off that mini. I can never see anything. Oh, so he's not in, okay, so he's not adjacent. He's not within range four. Can it move and attack an opponent within four, range four? Yes. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four. Can he be there? Now he's going to shoot through the green, yeah. Two. Well, I he mean, we can make it you, so right? it doesn't want to. So then it could do something like one, two, three, four, five. Nope, still. Uh, oh, yeah, he doesn't care about the train, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six. No, I don't think you would do that because that's break attack. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. Just moves in and shoots. Yeah, I, I think mean so. that's that's like the Gloomhaven way, right? They just kind of lazy. They just do what they need to do to get in range. But in this game, like with the up two, he wants to get like up to six range away. Yeah, maybe he still does. He just takes the minus one. Yeah, because then there's all the like if then it's yeah. like does he yeah. minus one? Uh, is he okay doing something that's risky? Yeah. I, I again I don't know how they prioritize what they're doing. I, I like read it again. And it's like I don't know if it's clear or not, but yeah, I just it doesn't. It's not intuitive. I don't think, but maybe it is. So I think it's gonna move so away. So if anyone yeah. in the chat like you know wants to say like where this little guy would go, assuming he's not line of sight to Remy, he's gonna move. Uh, he has a movement possibility of six spaces and it specifically wants to get up to range four from the nearest opponent so he's trying to hit that range four that's like the most important thing from my understanding of the rules he's trying to be up to four range away so not less than four if he can he needs to hit the four and he can move up to six which is why instinctively i started moving him one two three four five you know, or maybe it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever. 
He's technically in line of sight. He's just yeah. going through a minus one hindering terrain. Which I think is fine. I feel like they would just do that. Yeah. But it's like, does he try to avoid the minus ones? Does he try to avoid those more than a break attack? We know he's okay with the break attacks as long as it's not a for sure death. They'll still do the break attack stuff. So like, but in this game, they don't want you manipulating the monsters as like you would in Gloomhaven or like too many bones, which the developers like incentivize you to kind of mess with them. Uh, and yeah, Ronald. Ronald. I'm not gonna try to say your last name because I'll say it completely wrong. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for supporting the channel and becoming a patron at the producer level for a year. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the support. Um. So yeah. Yeah, I I'd think kind he's of, gonna move there as well. Yeah, I'd kind of move it there. He's now a one, two, three, four range away, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. So he's gotten to the up to four range. Oh, the other thing also, what would they consider about the whole, uh, with the cave sickles, they have the hive mind ability. Do they value that at all when they're moving? See how like, oh, yeah, see yeah. how the enemy AI can get super ridiculous, you know, and especially with so many things are open and not like with each enemy's like abilities that could override things. Yeah. It's like, that's where Gloomhaven gets like, becomes messy. And then there's like those, you know, 30 page, you know, exams you can take to try to solve monster movement and still fail at them. Which we did take those. Even the designer fails at that test. <laughs> um because it's so messy it's like so much like you know yeah yeah um it's just so messy but uh yeah and this it's like they left it kind of like yeah they just want to do this and there's four golden rules to it but then it's like even those rules are vague so it's like you can kind of just fudge them but you're you're still not supposed to do anything kind of in your favor so like kind of make it worse for you yeah because i feel like if you looked at this you would think this is in my favor because it's minus one minus one could be the mean no hit but also it's further from you so where does the further from you makes it harder for you to hit him you know and yeah then, i guess and then, and then when do you start counting the other players turns that are coming up see where there's like so much to consider at what's bad for you and what's not you know what i mean like how do i know i'm gonna roll a certain value on a die next or that who's gonna be next in initiative on a shuffle that maybe moving a cave sickle closer to uh nightingale might be worse for us Right. Or better for us. Like, it's so stupid. It's like, it's, it's very dumb. So we're just going to move monsters how we move them. Unless there's like, there's probably a good reference sheet that's like, you know, based on like BGG replies from the designer. But it's just, this is that loosey-goosey, like, you know, kind of like, here's some four golden rules that should cover everything. Vaguely. Yeah. But you decide what things are worse for you or what's not, you know, just keep it flowing, I guess, is where, where you're supposed to go with but it. But clearly other people have these kind of questions too, which is exactly yeah, yeah. this example when that I... we looked at yesterday with the with the one guy. And I... the exact question was asked in the exact situation we were in of where does this guy go? I looked at a thread before the stream started mm -hmm. about dodging. I searched up on BGG. I want to see somebody explain dodge in different language than the two pages about dodging in the rule books. <laughs> and this thread, no joke, had like three or four rules lawyers who each had their own interpretation of how the dodge and the rolling and which abilities get shut off and which ones don't and whether it's a hit or a miss or successful. Like literally for four posts in a row, each person was like, no, you are wrong. This is how it works. Yada, yada, yada. You should be doing it this way. Wow. At least that's my understanding. <laughs> and it's like completely wrong. And then the next one's like, no, no, this is how you do it. This is this is how you're supposed to do it. Like this, this, and this, and this. At least that's how my group did it. But like they come at it like so aggressive with saying like, no, you're wrong. This is how it works. Like fighting it out. And they're all wrong. And it's just like a mess. Like this game and looking up rules, like I said at the beginning of this playthrough series, every time I do it, I start getting frustrated and I just close BG. I'm like, I can't. I can't do this. Like it's it's a mess. That's true. We oh. need to start just looking at the FAQ, but even that's like not yeah. fully complete. Yeah, Le leave it on this one for a second because yeah, John yeah. has a question saying, I thought they attacked if you were at range four or below, then moved to Jason. In this case, because he was here, this is not line of sight because of this pillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So center of that tile to center of where Remy is, uh, if I hold it like that, again, ambiguous because where's the center? There's no dot telling us the center of a tile. So again, I, I don't also like what the way they tell you just just go from center of a space to a center of a space in a game that has no way to tell what the center of a space is unless you start getting out rulers and measuring tape and you know finding the dead center because in this game like the center like depending on where I hold that laser I'm like really touching the red partially touching the red or maybe not touching the red 
But yeah. I think it's touching the red. Yeah, so we're rolling it that way. Yeah. So in that case, he is not within range four. So he's going to do the last one that says, can it move and attack an opponent within range four? Yeah. Yeah. So this AI, we're, we're just doing, we don't care, you know, if it's line of sight or not line of sight, we're doing the last step. That's where our whole conversation is around, can it move and attack an opponent in range four? We're saying yes. And now it wants to move to be up to range four from the nearest opponent. That is the specific line we are talking about here. Move to be up to range four from the nearest opponent. So I was just curious what you guys would do in your playthroughs. And I'm sure we'll see like 13 different answers <laughs> at, at where this thing would end up, uh, which is just a mess. But I think we're good there. I think everyone is. But what I find what happens is you will get in a situation like this. So after the stream, I'll look at the rules. I'll read through the, the AI rules a bit. And then I'll be like, yeah, this doesn't really cover the situation. Or maybe it does. And I come to some conclusion. But then I read it again. And it's like, no, wait. I found another line that kind of contradicts that a little bit. But yeah. But yeah. But I feel like the up to rule, because it's like emphasized so much in the rule book, I feel like that's the hard one. That's what I've decided to center my judgment of how they're moving, is like trying to get that up to. So it's up to range, up to spaces, up to further away. Try to hit that value hard. Super important. Then if it's impossible to hit that value, then you can move them closer. So if we're following that way and ignoring all, you know, minus one hindrances, getting closer to another opponent or any stuff like that, or near a pit, like, you know, them being beside a pit, maybe that's advantageous for us, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. So it's like, you know, yeah. at some point you just got to pick a basic thing to just move around or you're sitting here for hours every time trying to solve the flow chart. Um, so just, yeah, there's my side rant. But anyways, I just think it's interesting. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Anyways, I'd like to hear your suggestions in the comment below. Uh, I'm sure we'll get comments on this later. Feel free to chime in if you're watching this later. I want to hear it. Where would that cave sickle end up in this situation? That's that's the test for today. And we will be marking these tests after. So you have to, a week to hand in your paper. <laughs> Dan right. does say, place the cave sickle on the carpet, flick it with a middle finger, dead cave sickle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I play it, play it uh, dexterity game style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just start flicking them. How, yeah. how far will it go? Yeah, what space does it land on now? Flick it, see where it ends up. Is it up to range four away? Yep, sure. Okay, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Do I spend one for dodge on this? RC says he put it exactly where I put it. Spot. Okay, good. That's okay. the original spot I would have placed it is on this side. I think I put it here first by accident, but no, 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 that, yeah, I didn't both count are... fully the range, but uh, yeah. Okay. The chat's <laughs> on your side here. Yeah. Okay. But again, like we could get into an argument where I could be like, well, no, minus one, or mm, maybe we'll go here, or, you know, how important is these gold, there's golden rules, and how do we want to interpret them? All right. Okay. Ahead. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. I was debating if I want Back to. Back to the game. <laughs> I was debating if I want to dodge, but I think I'm going to save it. Oh, man. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't because they rolled six and I have 10. Okay. So he whiffs. Okay. Perfect. Rook. Rook is going to run up there slowly. One, two, three, four, five, Don't six. Don't forget their little backstab combos. These two are yeah. trying, to, trying to line up at some point. Not that they really need them against cave sickles, but. He would take an uh, attack of opportunity. Oh, actually, if he get her big wings out of here. Get him up in the minus one it, spot there. Oh, but I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't have any SP anyways. You could if you drink a little perfume. Anybody can give it to you with an SOI. So like Remy could do it, um, I, but not Nightingale. Okay, if so it then, mattered well, that much, it's only two her? cave sickles. I no, wouldn't start one, wasting a bunch two. of stuff. No, 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 but I am going to spend the SP to yeah, get in there. Yeah, you'll have a minus one when they attack you. You might be able to counter back. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But I am going to take this magic bomb, discard, remove an effect from an ally with an SOI. So I'll remove this poison. Sweet. And I'll save the one in case they go before me uh, in the next turn. Okay, Zeke. Uh, Zeke. I just say Janice just saying Ultra Quest has similar range movement, move max enemy movement so that they are at range six or as far away as possible, but no further than range six. Okay. Okay. Paul is also here says, Good evening, everyone. I'm going to be putting a card sleeves on my copy of Seventh Continent while I listen. So oh. you might be sleeving longer than we're <laughs> playing today. Um, so yeah. We hope to keep you company for probably half of that sleeving. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in that game. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, especially if you're looking at expansions and stuff. Oh my god. Uh, and Bob says, I'm scared to give an opinion now in case it's proved to be erroneous later. 
uh, in general. Uh, I'm not always right, but I'm never wrong in the end. <laughs> same, <laughs> yeah, yeah. same. He doesn't feel like it's a good bet, you know? He's like, just stays quiet. But if he feels confident, he'll put his two cents in, but kind of word it so it's like vague. And he can get out of any legal binding agreements. Exactly. Like, I'm not always right, but I'm never wrong, he right? Never, he never jumps fully into the pool, just always dipping his toe in. <laughs> so always afraid. Okay. All right, uh, Zeke, what does he want to do? Zeke is going to... Oh, I may have put myself in a bad spot for Zeke. Knowing Zeke goes next, should I stay here? Uh, he can go like this side, probably. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if I can draw without going through the spaces. Maybe this guy. Yeah, see, I feel like I went in. I should have stayed where I was. I'm going to take that SP back because knowing this, I'm going to be in your way. So there you go. You move wherever you want. I ruined this. This is like okay, probably still. Or. Now, but now you don't have to. One, two, three, four, oh. uh, five, six. Yeah, either I'm way. Still in your way? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. One, two, six, seven. I don't know if I count right. Where was he to start? I don't even know. He was. Is he in a far the corner? The far corner. He was here? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, like a minus one on this guy's fine. This guy I have no line of sight to. So, like, I, I don't know. Either way. I don't even know if I have line of sight to this guy for sure because there's oh, a red thing in the way. Oh, there's a red thing in the way. Yeah, see? No way. I, oh. I don't have line of sight to like any of them really. So. Oh, so then let me put myself back where I was and go up this way. If that works. Yeah, yeah go ahead. So go go ahead. back where I was. Yeah. Here. You have to shoot through me, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But at least now you can at least. Am I now line of sight? Yeah, I'm, oh. li I'm line of sight to this guy with only minus one from hindering. That's actually better. And this one I'm minus two, two. I think. Yeah, yeah, one from the hindering, one from you. So maybe go for orange instead. Well, I can do both. But okay. one probably won't do much. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. Let's do two different targets. We're just going to fire on with uh, d down the masses. I'll fire first on the orange. Yeah, let's fire on the orange first. That's a minus one to my roll. Uh, I get a white and a purple. I have these plus ones possible. Uh, I have a reroll. Yep, yeah. all right, let's see what happens. All right, we got a 12. Minus one's 11. It's got a defense of eight. It's three. So we're at three. Uh, Symbol-wise, we're at uh, two shields. We'll get a plus two. Five. Star will give another plus one. Six. That's enough. And then it's dead? Yep. Without these uh, adding these in? Yep. All right. Kill it. And I got two books. So I will do a little one move in there. So I just had a thought. Uh-oh. No, it's not bad. I'm thinking we maybe don't kill this purple cave sickle. <gasps> because... For the achievement, Genius. for the achievement, we have to jump oh, yeah, over totally forgot a dangerous about that. terrain and then kill an oh, enemy totally in the same spot. Oh, I totally forgot about that already. On the same turn. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. So I think we leave it. Yep. So maybe do totally you move forgot. back? Uh, no. Or somebody, because we could just like jump. Like over I could like do some funny stuff where we're just doing this normal jump, and I could fire yeah, back you can fire at through. it. through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as these red pillars aren't in the way. Okay. So it has to be like. Kind of yeah. yeah, almost forgot about that. Almost forgot about that. Um, whoops. Yeah, because like I could have. But someone can even just like Nightingale even could just like jump. That's what I was thinking. Back That's like... this. We should probably should just got it out of the way by. I just you know, realized. Yeah, is it should have Zeke run across and then you know, but I don't think I can hit in there. That's why they put all these red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things there. Yeah. All right, so we'll save that cave sickle. Yeah. And so sorry, did you not want to use this and just use your belt your Yeah, maybe. I don't know if it really matters, but Yeah, probably should, so I don't accidentally kill it right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll say that's what I did. Just a normal two attack. Yeah, achievement hype, exactly. I almost forgot about it. Yeah, wow. Now it's gonna be tougher because yeah, we could have left like one in the back or something. But we'll we'll make we'll work with that guy. We'll just ignore him. He'll chase us a bit and we can um maybe Zeke can fire back on him. Yeah. 
He, he will also jump to us, like, you mm -hmm. know, and then we can jump over these things, you know, and try to hit him over here, too. Yeah. But, but even worst case, you can just jump over this, like, one, uh, one two, three, four, five, six, you know, something, him. and shoot him, like, still in the same area. Yeah, what's Zeke's agility of four? But it, what's her, if she's there, too? Well, she has to be on oh, this side. Oh, she has to be on that side. That's what you gotta you gotta think through this. Because I can bring Rook but back. But I don't want to go backwards, so we might as well go forward. True, true, true. And help okay. each other get over this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we'll save the Because potentially Rook can go first, even or uh, who do we say? Uh, nine, uh, Remy goes. Well, first. we have to get someone adjacent to this space. So up here, if we go like this, up here or here, I think, keeping someone adjacent in these spots who has decent strength, which we talked about, Remy. Especially Remy, since she can be the last one to cross, and she can just fly over here and catch up, whatever she's got to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the only problem is we're ignoring a cave so is going to keep pounding on whoever, but and 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 then the initiative is going to mess with us too. So you can't like, oh, Remy can't get there in time. Right. But as long as somebody can get here, uh, I have four strength also on Zeke, and only two on Nightingale. But we need to help Rook get across. So and whoever has the most perception, which is Zeke. Should probably be the first one to get over. So you could have Rook get up here and then Zeke jump over with Rook's help and be over there for sure. And then Remy finally moves in, then Rook kind of goes. And then you have Zeke on one side to help catch Rook. You have uh, the strength from, you know, uh, Remy on the back side to help Rook get across. So he's doing a test of five, or he's starting at five against 10. Hopefully, he rolls decent on his dice if he doesn't. Then we have a perception of six across that's just rolling two purple to try to catch him. So it's two mm -hmm. chances. Plus, anyone have any one turn rerolls? Yeah. On anything? Yeah. My, oh, these my blessings. Earrings? These blessings, the are, blessings are anytime, as long as you're within SOI. Yeah, which would all be. Yeah, yeah. We, we can make okay. sure Rook doesn't fall down a hole. And we don't need to use the plank on that one. We use the plank on this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get uh, surgical with this uh, plan to kill this cave sickle. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> but then we probably will still miss. So I, I will use rerolls to make sure like this cave sickle dies on a shot. It's, but, al it's also good because if we don't kill it this turn, we have a little bit of time to get the uh, loot as well mm -hmm. before we wake up this animate and have to fight it. Like I'll use once per turn and counter attacks on it. Oh, like yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Zeke's just got to jump across and then fire back at it somehow. Okay. Without being blocked on a set on those pillars. And right now where he is, you would be blocked if you were here? I don't, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Uh, but I can also move to here. No, that probably doesn't work. I think you got to. So from the center here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, see, that's, again, it's iffy. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but. So center of the cave sickle to center of the space after. Probably touches. Okay, what about here? I think you're fine here. No, because I hit the red, no? No, because the way it's rounded. Oh, neat. Okay, so you have to okay. get to this space. Okay, okay. Sure, okay. 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 I definitely have enough range. Okay. Like, yeah, no matter where it is in the room, on this, like, center area, we probably hit it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Matt says, I'm hearing the Mission Impossible theme in my head. <laughs> the most advanced plan to kill a cave sickle ever. Exactly. That's what I was replying to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's okay. yeah we're going to get surgical with it. All right. Okay. Uh, so you're done, right? So, yeah, so I need I'm to done. shuffle this in the precise way that we just said. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to click a, a, some kind of alternate scene where it switches. A... You, you decide what you want the deck to be divvied out as, and then, <laughs> you know. We'll go to like a still shot of us just smiling and then come okay. back and all the cards are laid out. I'm going to put these two on the bottom. Okay. Nightingale, <laughs> Zeke, Remy, Rook, Casicle. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Perfect. This I is didn't have to do any trickery. <laughs> and I cut it. Nice so. sleight of hand, Mel. Yeah. Okay, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Fire thing says, I need a Madden. We need John Madden to mark up the board with these plays. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. These are wow. Wow, wow, wow. Super Bowl level here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Nightingale's first. So Nightingale, we talked about her not really. She has, she has two perception, two strength, but she has five agility. I think she can get over She anyways. can do her own thing getting across because she has five agility. Yeah. But I, I, or, don't, I don't think she's really part of helping anyone no, else. No, but go. she maybe wants to be one of the people that goes to get the loot. Because we still want to get the loot, right? If I try to do some SOI shenanigans. 
One, two. So we say here. Yeah. Like she, she's possible for her to try it too. Yeah, I mean she's first, so then it just alleviates whatever. But I, I don't know if she can do it this turn. It's rook go very late, so yeah. he can't get there to help everyone jump over yet. That sucks. Yeah, because he, he was just oh, true, if he was just standing want, there, like want him slightly, but yeah, if he was just standing there to help, like you know, a couple people over, then it's like no one will fall in. Um, so if I try to move over here. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Was this the spot or this the spot? That's the spot. Seven. Uh, this one might be as well. Uh, no, I think that blocks it. It has to be this one, yeah. That's seven away from where Nightingale is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So she'd have to spend two SP to even get that far. She has no bonus movement. Do you want an SP? Well, I have her own ability. I can, I can oh, give right, everyone right, like an SP. Right. If, we think it's gonna make a difference, but I mean, I just don't I mean, know. I, I just don't know. Blue totem, enemies surrounded by better enemies than cave sickles. No, we got I an know. animate that's supposedly involved. I know. I just I'm thinking of saving some things for that. Yeah, like uh, the don't... achievement's nice, but it's always like an above and beyond. It's not like the you get that achievement, you win the scenario. It's not. That's not what it's about. It's like true. How much you want to actually commit to it versus true. the real threat at hand. True. I just I do think though that the cave sickle is the easiest to one shot or to kill on the same turn as the jump. Obviously, I, I'm not not debating that at all. I'm just debating like giving SP out now, whether it's worth it or not, or I need to do it on the next turn when we actually can try to do this. So if I do it now, I can get up to five SP. Two of it would get me to here. I then do my once per turn mundane relic wand here, my wand of missiles, which gets me plus two SOI. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'd be definitely an SOI. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I would try euthanasia, but I have no pluses on it. I wish I had some tokens on here. But I do have rerolls. So... I think I have rerolls. I have once per encounter reroll. I have this reroll. I have this once per encounter reroll. And this feels like it should have a reroll, but it doesn't. Oh, this is the spend an extra SP, and I could get an extra white die of magic, mm. assuming I actually hit well. But I don't need that because uh, my spell would just kill it. Um, I'm, I'm missing something. Hmm. Uh, we'll try. We'll try with her. Uh, so yeah, I'll use her ability. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna get two SP, one SP to everyone else. Okay. Okay, one SP to everyone else. Take one more for Rook. Uh, then I'll put a little use thing on here. Okay. So we're going to spend one. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to test to see if she makes it over the hole. It's an agility of 10. I have an agility of 5 with Nightingale. So I just need to roll 5 or higher on these dice. That's all. Okay. And I do have some anytime rerolls, so we'll see. We will see. Yes. Right. Well, I rolled a 12, so yeah, we definitely get over that little hole without a problem. Mm -hmm. And then I'll spend one more SP. So that was, sorry, that was, I need to do one more to get yep. here. That's yep. all I know. Uh, all right. We'll chill there. Then I'll do my once per encounter. Let's increase our SOI when choosing targets of a spell. Okay, so we'll choose this guy. Then we're going to spend two to do a euthanasia. Oh, I know what to do. I'm going to empower this spell. Right, right. White plus black. I can't look in case you roll a skull. Oh, if I roll a skull, I damage myself. Who cares? We missed on this opportunity. It sucks, but I'm not, it's not going to kill me. True. I made it across the hole. We're all, we're all good there. This is just icing on the cake. So... We only rolled a three and then two extra books. So that's six, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven feels okay, 11, but they're rolling seven, a white and a purple. And seven. The highest they can get is 14. Uh, no. So I'm like debating re-rolling this, but like, am I going to get higher than a three or will I actually turn it lower? It's the lowest on that. A two is the lowest. Oh my goodness. And it's all, I only have once per turn or once per scenario re-rolls, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
Unique wand, you got a once per round reroll. Unique wand, yeah, and I also have one on this, uh, the earrings thing too, but it's like, yeah, sure, I'll it's try. It's per round or per? No, per encounter. Oh. That's why it sucks. This is, this is like a unique item, costs 50 gold, and I get a once per encounter reroll on it. At any time, reroll any dice except the black that you or an ally within SOI rolled. So I guess because you can do it on other characters, that's what they're justifying, the extra money? Oh, on the weapon side. Oh, if it was on the other side. Okay, okay. Is that a reroll? Exhaust. Anytime. Reroll any dice except the black that you that you or an ally rolled with an SOI. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. But then see. I wouldn't be using this thing. Yeah. I mean, I could eventually try the double wand thing, but it's just like... I see. I don't know. Maybe. We can try it out. Maybe next time we, uh, next scenario or something. Okay. So I will use this one after making a roll, re-roll any of your dice. No, I'll do this one because I don't want to re-roll the black. Okay. A two, see? Oh. Yep. This is okay. why, like, I don't understand why a once per encounter re-rolls on a 50 gold item. That, I know. That is not a guaranteed improvement. Okay. Kind of lame. That's okay. Um, so sure, let me try another one. I mean, can't get any worse. Can't get any worse, you're right. Sure, let's use up all my once per counter rerolls here so we can just move on with the scenario and forget the achievement. A three. Oh, we're back to where Best we started. Way. Best spends ever. <laughs> back to where we started. N now watch this thing roll, like, crush it anyway. Watch <laughs> that were really low. Exactly. Those it's are like my so kind of rolls. so stupid. Okay, so here's the conviction on the little so guy. So you're at 11, though, so I think we're still good, right? 9, 10, 11, yeah. Sure, I'm at 11. 11. Great. And it eight. rolled an eight, okay. so we're good. We're good. All was that with the uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. <laughs> we got the achievement. So annoying. Uh, okay. Because so I was six damage, Yeah, right? so this thing gets six magic damage, whatever, it's dead. You get a loot, too. Uh, oh, yeah, we get a loot. Uh, what am I doing? This one. Which is a five gold. No focus. Hello, it's too shiny. Too shiny. <laughs> it is gold. Too shiny. All right, and then we get the achievement. Uh, what was it called? Death from Above. Death from Above. There you go. I said you had to read it. Yes, it was all worth it. Oh, yeah, you gotta read you gotta something. Read it. Oh, there's even more to this. Oh, wow. I thought it was yeah. cool getting some loot. No, you might get something good. Uh, all right, Death from Above. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> okay, if an adventurer successfully jumped a dangerous terrain space and then defeated an opponent on the same turn, read the following hidden text. Your mighty blow, uh, coupled with your momentum, sends the creature splattering across the stone floor. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the sheer brutality of the kill sends more gold than normal spilling across the ground. Draw an additional combatant loot. In addition, uh, your brave stunt inspires your team. All allies gain two SP. Oh, but that so... sucks because that basically like you're only gonna get one SP. Okay. So it's all going away. It's just like a wasted SP. Except for Z. I wasted her ability. I wasted all her once per encounter rerolls. For that, I don't know if that was right, but let's see. Maybe we get a juicy monster loot here. Yeah. Nope, but we get seven. Seven. Gold. Okay. All right, I'll take it. Okay. More gold, sure. I mean, and some SP. And we oh. got a tick box. I don't know what Is those do. Is it just everyone later? else gets SP? I think it said it, all your all allies. allies. Oh, uh, I'm an ally. You're though. an ally. Yeah, it didn't it say, didn't all, say other. all other. Yeah. So I get two SP. Okay, so okay. I got something out of it. Some SP out of it. Okay, so That's now we can we can get the loot. Well, I'm not done, right? No, you're it not just done. Says, yeah, once you do on the same turn, doesn't say you had to end your turn. Do I care though? I could start the next turn at five. I don't, I want to stay there to help, but it's the two perception, she's useless. But I mean, it's still a chance. Okay, so I'll just pass, stay there. Okay, Zeke. Go ahead. Zeke is next. You got glory. Uh, play your belly flop on scattered loot card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Zeke. Zeke. Okay. Zeke is going to get two more SP. Yay. Loaded. All right. Uh, so, oh, there's loot in the room. Uh, yeah, there's loot. We need to get that. Yes. Yes, we do. Well, since Zeke's okay to hang back a little bit, I think. No. He needs to get across to help people on their jump. So. Yeah, Remy can get the loot. I'll pass it to you if it's something that's useful to you after. Well, yeah, I don't care about that part of it. 
I'm just thinking like I have so much SP, but everyone's going to be loaded. I'm afraid that Rook's going to fall in that hole. I'm really tempted. No, no, but not if we're setting up. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Know, I'm not grabbing the loot. Because perception of six, if I'm on the other side adjacent to where he's landing, I also do a six test against the ten. You know? So even if you just have to have someone here to help Rook on his way across, mm, okay. which is Remy with strength of four. Like, I don't know how many times I have to describe this know, whole situation to you. I know. Are we forgetting about that loot that's there then? No. We, you guys can get the loot. And then come just next to no him. There's no point then... in Zeke doing it now, and he's stuck up here, and then he's not across here to help. Okay. So he's going to just go across is what I'm trying to get at here. So I spend one. One, two, three, four, five. He only moves seven. So he's going to go six, seven. Okay, he's going to do his little test. He's got four agility. See, I wish Rook was here to help with this, but Rook didn't go first, and I don't want to wait forever. So I rolled an eight, so we're good. All the good rolls have been used, so... Yeah, I just... The part of me that's saying that is if one of us goes to get the loot, then we're not moving across until next turn. 100%. Agreed. But then if that's you guys fine. go first, you guys are just standing there, waiting? We could. Okay. Or one of you is standing there? Who, who knows? Okay. Well, Nightingale can go on, but yeah. again, it'll fire off whatever this thing is. And if, you know, you guys aren't ready, like, to get across quick... Like, that's going to be enemies, for sure. There's yeah. no way the rest of this scenario is just... Or unless it's the animate is the... The only thing left, but I feel like this totem is going to be like, oh, some cave sickles starts so you hear some skittering in the dark. Yeah, here true. they come, here they come. But maybe it's worse, maybe it's something else. Like, maybe the animate, if Remy went over there to deal with it first, and but if you see this first, then it wakes up. Yeah, like it could be something crazy like that. That's fine. Yeah, because maybe it'll fall in the hole as it tries to get across. Yeah, maybe, or maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Special rules, maybe it doesn't jump at all and just sits there. Playing defense in front of the exit. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, all right. So, based on that, Z could continue movement, but he doesn't want to get non-adjacent from that hole. And there's nothing to fire at. The only thing that would be funny, the only thing that would be funny, is if you use some SP to move to be in line of sight of this and then move back. No, but then if uh, if an enemy starts uh, like you know cave sickle surround over here. And then you guys are still dilly dallying over here. Well, we and wouldn't then... in that case. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could. I feel weird having yeah, all this SP. Yeah, that's what I mean. You could use like one, two. Oh. Well, and I moved. It was like where I don't even know where I was. You were behind. Somewhere you here. were here, weren't you? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go eight, nine, ten, eleven, get the loot. And then you stop there. I don't know. Do I stop there? Wait. 8, 9, 10, 11, get the loot. I still have one more. But then you, oh, yeah, but I can't keep moving. Yeah. Hmm. Then Zeke could get trapped up front where Zeke's supposed but to be in the back. But you could also get to where you're in range of this. We see what this is first, and then maybe you move back. Maybe we sure. don't even get the loot yet all. right, at all. let's find out. So hopefully I don't get trapped. Uh, so move in two more. I don't know if that's, that might be. Yeah, I think I am. I think so. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You tell. The same is over here, but it's like this is a big I know, chunky it's because square. It, I it depends where this tile is. Is it a little bit this way? Is it a little bit that way? Well, if you spend one more, you go here and then you end, like sure. you still have All enough. Right. So you stop. Yeah, I still have one you more point one of movement. More movement. All right, let's see. After you see this. Let's see Blue Totem. Blue Totem says a hooded figure emerges from the shadows. Spawn an animate on any unoccupied normal terrain space on the west side of tile UM42. Which is the tile I'm on, so put him right beside the loot. Okay. Yeah, see, this is not good. I, I Zeke does not want to be over there, so this was stupid to do until we were all across the pit. Like, I, th I man, it's even worse than I thought. Then, uh, pounding steps alert you to an Earth Loa charging from the darkness. <laughs> so sorry. If you chose to brace for the attack, read A. If you attempt to roll out of the way, read B. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, this is so dumb. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done it. Okay. All right. Uh, do you want to pass me an animate? Sorry. Yeah. Animate. And we're going to need an Earth Loa. I'm sure. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. He can go in any of yep. these. You should have known. Right? Should have known. 
Is that correct? Uh, yeah, on the west side. Yeah, Unless so you water all on the loot. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm probably just going to move back, I guess. I, I don't know. This yeah. guy was the whole one we don't want to be with an SOI. So I need to be here. But I. But that's where you want to go anyways. You still have one more movement and then one more SP and you're sure. there. Okay, great. Uh, so anyways, oh, let's uh, continue on. Okay. All right. So then pounding steps alert you to an earth loa charging from the darkness. Uh, if you choose to brace for the attack, read A. If you attempt to roll out of the way, read B. Well, we know attempting a roll is going to be like some kind of agility check or something. Uh, Zekas for agility. Mm. Oh, but he could go down a hole. Yeah, 100%. This is a fall down a hole stupid thing. Uh, I'll brace for the attack. A. You brace yourself for a violent clash with the charging Earth Loa. The creature slams into you with all its might. Spawn an earth low on any unoccupied normal terrain space adjacent to your figure. Then make a strength 12 check. So I'll just put it on the other side. Yeah. Uh, no, up one. Yep. All right. Uh, actually, I want it here. Okay. Right. Then make a strength 12 check. So I have four. Uh, plus eight. That's 12. 12, we're good. Okay, so I pass. Uh, if you have a shield equipped, nope, no. you pass this check automatically. If you pass, the Earth Loa makes an attack with plus three to the roll against you. After resolving this attack, if you're not defeated, make an attack with plus 10 to the roll against the Earth Loa. Then continue turn as normal. If you fail the strength check, the attack from the Earth Loa knocks you to the ground. You may not counter, and your turn ends. I thought it would knock you in a hole for oh sure. Oh my god. But I bet the other one is a risky roll where you could roll out of the way, but you might fall down a hole if you fail. If you pass, you move out of the way, and then he falls down a hole, which is probably what happens. But I, I don't know. The agility of four, strength of four, I thought I don't want to risk falling down a hole. That's, that's my assumption there. That was a bad call on my part. I'm so sorry. No, that's what I knew. With Zeke being in the front, I thought that like Zeke shouldn't be, you know, peeking out here and starting the the battle on the next tile and being up front. That's not where he should be because he doesn't have the defenses for that. Um, and now he's got like two big enemies like right up in front of him. So we'll see. And Nightingale is not the best either. So uh, yeah. So hurry up, grab that loot, and get over here. Okay. Uh, sorry. What am I doing? I am doing a. Uh, Earthlow is attacking me with a plus three to the roll. So Earthlow is two green. Do you want to dodge? Uh, yeah, I guess. Dodge. All right, okay, I got two, two shields. And then because I didn't roll skull, I have an extra shield. Okay, plus you have three. 13. On yes, okay. I think. Yep, thirteen on the defense. It's attacking me with a plus three to its roll, uh, which it rolled the highest it can get is sixteen. Plus three is actually nineteen. Minus thirteen, you said. Mm -hmm. That's six. But it's going to spend all four of those shields at plus four, so we're at ten. Plus the stars, two stars is another plus one each, so we're at twelve. Do you have anything that lets you re-roll when it comes at you? Probably not. No, seriously, he's not supposed to be up front. He's supposed to be way behind, never gets attacked. I know, I'm sorry, I didn't know yeah, this yeah. was going to happen. No, it's okay. It's, I, I shouldn't have just done it. I just thought, yeah, why not? Well, I thought I'll the animate back. was going to be down here. Yeah, oh no, I thought, I I thought worse to be like coming. cave sickles, maybe one animate, but this is worse. That's no, okay, it's okay. Sorry, I don't think I have anything that can help nope. you. Ugh. Okay, uh, so sorry, what did I say? 12. 12 damage. Uh, okay. And my health is 12 plus I have 3 off the shirt. So I have 3 health remaining. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I get to now see, I could counter. No, I can't counter because no. I didn't dodge successfully. But there is something else, right? I yep. do get to attack. Yeah. So if I'm not defeated, I make an attack plus with plus 10 against the Earth Loa and continue to turn as normal. All right, so my attack 
back at the Earth Loa, who has five armor. But it uh, is plus ten, so sure. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna fire back at him with some arrows. And is he immune to poison or anything? Mm, no. Well, I'll do some follow-ups if possible. All right, so I only rolled an eight. Okay, so 18. His defense is eight, so 10. His armor is five, so five get through. But we're not done. Okay, so far, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then symbols. So we're gonna re-roll the white. Okay, I haven't moved on the turn, so... Man, this is ridiculous. I am going to... Let me see if I have some rerolls other than that. Yeah, I'm just going to do one of these bot bottle blessings. I'm going to reroll that again. Six. Okay, that's kind of cool. But yeah. kind of wish there was more dice mitigation with the plus ones, but I guess that's what all the upgrades are for. But yeah. Uh, anyways. Okay, so 11 plus 10, 21. Okay, and then I'm going to add the two shields will give me plus two. And 223. Okay, 23. I haven't moved, so I get a, a passive plus one off this thing. 24. I'm going to throw these two in to add two more. 26. 26. Okay, subtract is eight defense. Okay. So that's 18. 18. Five armor. 13. It's 20. 13. Yep, 13 damage out of his 20. Okay. Uh, oh. I will do a follow up. 13. Okay. Little free move one space. Oh yeah, me countering and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I think all this stuff interrupts my movement and I'm not going to be able to continue moving. So that sucks. Uh, anyways, so... Uh, I will do a follow up now with the poison. Force 8, uh, force 10. Sorry, one other thing is you could have made the white a 7. Oh, that's was right. Two, so was that, that was... the lowest? Yeah. Oh, I'm so dumb. Yep, thank you. So we could do that instead. Kill the messenger. Instead of what did I do? You just oh, the blessing, the blessing. Oh, the blessing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I, yeah, so then, I forgot it was the lowest on the white, so it should be seven. So that would be one more to the two more. Because what did I reroll this into a six or a five? It was a six. Uh, okay, and then I get a plus one off the star now. Okay, so that's another two. This goes to three. Yeah, I forgot about and the And then does the, the symbols do anything different? Do you have any? No, no. Because I would need a second shield. Okay. Okay. So it's only pairs of shields. I still get the move. Okay, so it's five away. All right, so now we're going to do its conviction check against my force 10 off the poison. Yeah, two white die. Two white. Uh, oh. Seven, so I apply poison to it. Okay. When you have a minute, if you can pass me the cards for these two as well, I'll throw them in here. Yeah. Um, and then I know it does suck that your movement is over, but you can fire on one of them. Yeah, no, I'm not done my turn yet. Um, what is the other thing? The uh, animate. The animate came out first, so I guess he would go, and then the Earth sure. Loa. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Because maybe... Okay. Yeah, it does yeah, save the blessing. blessing. Don't let me finish my turn without doing some heals also. Yes, yes, yes. No, that's yes. Uh, so sorry. Let me spend two. Oh, 13, 14, 15. He's five away. Yeah, see, this is a problem. I can't really damage this guy by normal means. But even if you get one or two through, that means the poison likely will kill him. The, but I don't think I can get damage through. Normally, I, I kind of just whiff because of this. Five armor? Like, I had a plus ten. That's what made that all happen. And I just used these? Yeah. So, okay, yeah. Okay, well, I mean... But anyways, I'm just debating firing at the animate instead. Can't you do both? Uh, just to could. take it, just to try? Yeah, so it's just now all the pluses. Sure. I know, I know. Yeah, sure. Two different opponents. All right, let's attack the Earth Loa first. Yep. And I technically didn't move to a move action on my turn yet. Oh, no, I did. Nope, this is still my turn. So I shouldn't have got that extra oh, plus so, one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I keep thinking all this is happening not on my turn. But it is my turn still. Yeah, so I don't get that plus one. So, all right. Uh, sorry, so Earth Loa, we're going to attack for part of this down the masses. Mm. I rolled an awesome six. 
Uh, I don't think that's worth even wasting my time on. But anyways, uh, so that will do nothing okay. to him. Okay, so that was a waste. Uh, now I'll attack the animate. Uh, 10. Ten. Plus, uh, sorry, He's a 10 defense even hit. Of nine. Yep, okay, so, that's so one. one. Uh, then we have extra two damage. Okay. He... And I can do a follow up move. Okay, his armor's three, so he's gonna block it. Yeah, so. But you gotta move back. I don't know sure. if that's good. Uh, I didn't on the last one, though, unfortunately. No. Um, hmm. Mm. Need to get out of SOI of the animate. That sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna drink this juice box, I guess. Uh, dropping this down to nine. I guess I'll be drinking. Yeah, do it because I don't know if Rook can. I don't know. Yep. Because you, yeah, both of Another these. Other three. Oh, they're both gonna hit me though. Oh, so it's like I, I don't think he can survive. I feel like I'm like wasting heals. Oh, did I not do follow up on this guy with the poison? Is he immune to poison? Uh. First time each turn the animate hits. No follow up, make an attack. No. Okay, so yeah, I, we can, should do the yep. follow up poison on him, right? Yep. So it's ten. Yeah. Oh, oh. He, he rolled a ten. Dang it. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. Um. Okay. Do I do a free attack once per turn? I mean, if you might potentially die but, from getting hit from both of these, I mean, it's not terrible to try. Yeah. I know you have to have like the god roll to get some through, but no, yeah, it's just a hit on this guy. As long as I do a hit, yeah, then you can try the poison again, and I can follow up with poison. But I have to roll ten or higher. Just a being, because I could use this, or I could have her use this. I have one too. I know, I know. Well, oh, I'm you're not, not with an SOI. Never mind. Like, I could fully heal him just off Bottle Blessings, but I could also give him some SP, and we can keep trying to poison, like, the animate or something. I don't know. I think that's, like, a good call, but maybe not. Um, but I might want to use the rerolls. I mean, you can do the free attack first, see what happens. The ones per encounter? Yeah, but it's doing it without all these ready and stuff is kind of stupid. I know. So I probably shouldn't. But if I die, then it's like, eh. Yeah, then it was And if wasted. I can get poison on it before it goes and starts rolling purple dice on its next turn, it would be beautiful. All right. Uh, sure. I'm going to try. Once per encounter, we're going to do an attack with Zeke. YOLO. I just have to get 10 or higher, please. 10 or higher. No, 7. Piece of crap. Uh, okay. So we're gonna re-roll any of the dice you just rolled. An eight. But they might, he might even block. Yeah, he's got good conviction, so there's no point. I shouldn't even started this. Yeah, he's the guy with a really good conviction. Yeah, we'll just stop there. That was all done. All right, and then we'll just use her to heal him three more. Yeah, that was a very messy turn. I shouldn't have done that. I forgot all about his bad conviction. Like, really dangerous conviction. I'm not going to get that through. Okay, done. Zeke's done. Now let's see uh, what happens. Okay, animate. Yeah, probably should use those for SP to dodge, but hey, whatever. Okay, does he oh, have... I forgot to... No, I did that just on this turn. Okay, does he have any damage? No. Continue down. Is there an opponent adjacent? No. Is there an opponent with an SOI? One, two, three, four. Yes. Yep, unfortunately. Uh, cast a spell six, prioritizing the opponent with the lowest conviction value without darkness and inflict darkness. So a spell of six, they're going to do a white casting die. But who's he doing it against? That's only me, right? Cause... Yeah, because she's not in. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so 11. Oops, I'm so sorry. I'm knocking everything around. 11. So you get to see Where if you... Oh, here. Because the cards. Oh, I didn't know where to put it. Right. And... Okay. Um, so you're going to see if you can block 11 conviction. 
11, so a white and a purple. And an upgrade. This one's like darkness if you don't. Yep. Okay, darkness, okay, darkness. whatever that is. It's probably bad. I think it's you can't. Uh, you have minus one armor and you can't dodge. Okay. Uh, what? Then make a range attack, prioritizing opponent with darkness okay. at range four. Uh, it rolled 11 uh, against my nine because of minus one. So, so that's two. two plus and then he's adding in two uh, for the star, and then each book and yeah, it's another gets one. one. So five. Five damage. Uh, eight. Okay. He's then going to move towards the nearest opponent. Uh, he has six. One, two, three, three four. four, five. Okay. Okay. Uh, then make an attack against the opponent with the most damage. All right. Roll a 15. And then he's going to add two more to that. Jason, 17. 17. Uh, the pairing of the books and the shields, he actually got three more. 20. So 20 minus 9. 11. 11 plus all this is definitely defeat. Oh. So, yeah, right? Yeah. Because 12, 15 only. Yep. Yep. So all that consumables, all waste. <sighs> thought so. I thought so. All right. Uh, so I don't know what happens on defeat. Uh. That's annoying. All because I stepped and saw a blue totem, which shouldn't be on the board. Oh, Boom! Sorry. Defeat is 67. Yep, yep. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I just should have, you know, listened to myself. <laughs> uh, an ally gains damage equal to their maximum health. They are defeated. When defeated, an adventurer or combat must immediately remove their corresponding figure from the board and their corresponding initiative card from the initiative track. When this happens, the other initiative cards collapse to fill the empty space. Figures can never have more damage tokens. The defeated adventurers and allies... And allied combatants return to play during the setup of the next encounter. Okay, that's, that's it. Okay, you just well, I'm just good. Chill out. Sweet. Unless okay. somebody revived me somehow. But yeah, but I don't know how to do that. I don't that. think we've even seen anything that does that. Okay, so that was the animate. Oh, Nightingale's in trouble then. Yeah, no, this is what I'm saying. Lola. Like, they're not the two characters that should be on that tile uh, ahead of everybody else. Okay. Uh, is there an another ally with an SY without barrier? Yep. Yep. So then give them barrier. Yes, give them barrier. Give them barrier. The Rob paranoia was there. I just didn't like, give in to myself. I, I thought the whole idea of the spending the SP just seemed like it was not that bad. But I did say that. I did say if he, I did say, you can go back and see me saying. Oh, do the poison first. Yes, Zeke yes. being in the lead he is not a good thing. I forgot about the poison. Seven. Uh, so we have 12, 13, 14. Plus seven is... Because it, it doesn't count armor, right? No, it's just straight damage. So that's 21? Yeah, it's dead. It's dead. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, wow. So never mind any of that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, Earth Lola. Okay, Remy. So is this here? Uh, no, thank you. All right, so then we can move this back. Okay. Remy, she's only going to gain one. Okay. Oh, so he's got to come off the wall. Oh, that gives a loop. Yeah, this one. Four gold. Okay. Bump, bump. Okay. Needs to be more gold. Uh, she's going to ready everything. Uh, the fly. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could fly in there. I would have, oh, I have to roll. Ready these. I have two hits on him. I do have armor piercing of two, so he technically only has one mm, armor. That's good. So I feel like I'm just going to do this, and we're going to see what happens. Is it armor piercing on all your attacks, or is it like a thing you have to spend? Uh, Nope, it's just on my yep, passive? passive. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to fly in. One, two, three, four, five, six. You left Rook behind, eh? Well, wow. he can go get the goal or the sure. loot, yep, and yep, then. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Because worst case, she could like fly just to the exit. If we think that things are going bad and we're losing characters, well, we're gonna find out when someone's adjacent to this. We gotta stop. So they've made it on purpose, so you can't go to the exit without being adjacent True. to that thing. I think. True. 
All right, we're gonna do the free attack first. She, I also do have this. I have to remember oh, yes, that yes, if yes. I get hit, half I can damage half damage it. This is true. Okay, so let's do an attack for free with two white. Two white. Uh, ten. Okay, so nine. Is, so that's up one. Uh, each shield, each two shields do two, so that is up to three. Um, that's really only going to be. Okay, I'll block. He'll block one. That's two damage, which is not enough. Mm -hmm. But let's do yeah. it again for two. Magics and poisons would I be know. nice, but I know. Twelve. Twelve is good. Plus Nine, a bunch 10, of symbols. Twelve, because that's three. I'm up three plus each uh, two shields do two, so that's up another two, so that's five star. plus star does one, Here so that's six. six. He blocks one, so that's five plus two is seven. Six, seven. Okay, uh, I could get an SP to attack one more time. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to gain an SP, I think, which I'll just spend two to attack one more time. We still have some rerolls and stuff, so this is not a good one. Ten. Okay, so that the is hit. ten is up one, plus the two shields is three. That's only going to get another two through. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's halfway. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I can do? No. She's done. Okay, Rook. Oh, he's going to gain one. He's going to move for six. One, two, three, four. No, no, let's move. Uh, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And I'll spend one to look at the loot. And the loot is yellow. Let's see what yellow does. Yellow okay. says... You find a pile of treasure. The party gains 20 gold. 20 gold. Very nice. All right. 228. Okay. Uh, and then I think he's... Oh, he's going to use his ability mm. to gain two heals uh, here. And I don't think he's an SOI of anybody. No. So... So done. Okay. Mel has plus ones. I have plus ones? What's that mean? Oh, your uh, you're upgrade. Oh, I have plus ones. Oh, yes. So let's just so do just it to two give more. two damage. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gotcha. Okay. Upgrades, upgrades. Upgrades, yeah. And then they would be knelt, yeah. So it's our turn again. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Iris Snake says, I want to know who is wandering this world just leaving all these piles of exactly 20 <laughs> gold everywhere. I know, right? Who does that? I know. Okay. Oh, anime. <laughs> Remy, Nightingale. Whoops, Rooks is still upside down. Okay. Matt says, you can attack that blue objective. Zeke should shoot. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, shooting it from a distance, we could have shot it, like, right from our starting spot. I possibly. think someone did suggest that. I didn't even realize. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. I think ah. with, with Nightingale uh, or something, too, of... Like, should we be shooting it and trying to kill it before we get adjacent to it is what we should have been doing, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But we'll probably get punished for not doing that either. Maybe. So we'll see. All right. Okay. Uh, the first time each turn that he hits, he makes a follow up. Okay. And then the first time he's going to empower. Okay. Does he have any? Oh, does he have any damage? He's going to heal too. Oh, son of a gun. Continue down. Is your opponent adjacent? Yes. Then make an attack. And he's going to empower this. Um, but I'm going to dodge with this one. Oh, all the books. All the books. Uh, except the black. Mm, does it matter? Well, it gives me one. No, I'll take that. It gives me one. Sure. Uh, do I have to do this before I get hit? When an opponent makes an attack against you before they roll. Yep. So I'll do this before they roll. To half the damage? To half the damage. Cool. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh my God, you rolled a 16. 16. Oh my God. Okay, no, I got things that I'm going to do on this one for sure. Plus the... For sure. No, first I'm going to, uh, after a roll is made against you, remove all symbols on one die once per encounter. We're going to do that. Okay, so... Actually, if I'm halving it, maybe let's add it up first. I have 9, 10, and 11 for my passive. 11. All right, so we're at 16. Okay, so that's uh, 5. And then the pairs, he's adding one each, so that's three more. 8. Then the two stars, adding four more. 12. And then he's got a couple pairs on here, so another two. 12, 13, 14. So 14, so half, seven. you take 7. I take 7, or, or I remove all the symbols on one die. Which would be, which would be 16. Okay. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Then, then half would be five, I would take, because I have I have defense of 11. 11. So let's do that, because then I'll only take five damage. Yeah, okay. Okay, so five, six, seven. Okay. So 11 minus 20 was 10, five, yeah. Okay. Six, seven, okay. Yeah, I agree. Brutally high, brutally high. Uh, then he's going to uh, actually make an attack with the same weapon. Okay, oh, yeah. so he's going to do it again. But is he going to do this first, or is he going to do that then first? This, nope, the follow the, Yeah, the yeah, change perdition, yeah. Okay, so he's going to attack me again, but this time it's not empowered. Okay. Dodging. Uh, yes, 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 I do have dodge, so maybe I should do that. Nope. Uh, wow, double eights oh, again. My God. Holy crap. Uh, you roll any dice except the black dice that were rolled or that you roll that were rolled against you. So, uh, is it anytime re roll any dice? I'm going to use this. And anytime re roll any dice except the black that are rolled that you rolled or that rolled against you. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to. Here, you roll this. Minus two from accessory. I don't know. Do you have something else hiding under here? No, I'm so sorry. What's the accessory? The red. It's like a red thing, this thing. Oh, no, this one is half. Yeah, this is her accessory. When an opponent makes an attack against you before they roll, gain resistance physical damage till the end of the turn. End of the oh, turn. Oh, the end of the turn. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm still re-rolling these. Yeah, yeah. Armor? This armor? Yeah, I don't... Not the badass leather jacket, that's no. for sure. I did get the plus one. I counted because I... For the first one, I didn't roll uh, the skull, so I did count the plus one. Okay, just roll it up and we'll uh, figure it out. Oh, so you rolled six and a seven, so yeah, there's our okay. hot base. Yeah. <laughs> 13. Okay, so I, uh, 13 plus 13. Oh, uh, there's two 14, pairs. 15. So 15 minus 15 your. 15 minus 10. 10 so it's five. Five, and then half. half round it up. So you take so three I take more three damage. damage. Six, so I go to nine. Okay. That was the fault. That was that. <laughs> then, where was I? Then move up to two spaces further from the target. This movement does not provoke break attacks. Okay. And then he's done. Okay. Wow, she is not fun. Okay, so Remy's turn, three. Let's ready all this fun stuff up. His animates, man. I know. So annoying. I know. Okay. Like they hit hard. They have crazy defense, and they have crazy conviction. All right. Like we're gonna nuts. we're gonna drink a juice box for three. So I'm going to back to seven. Uh, I don't think Rook can get, maybe he can get. <laughs> Just because we looked at that blue totem not prepared. You know, this is how much consumables we've lost now. Just, bad decisions were made for sure. Bad decisions were made. Okay. We're looking to be all out of consumables. We're not going to get to restore. We're going to go to the next one being like half health on a bunch of us. Well, does Remy just fly this way? I don't know. Or does she try to fight this guy? We got him like halfway. I, I don't know. Nightingale still hasn't gone yet to do any magic on him for some reason. No, I she's, like she's, she's been next. standing over there for like I don't understand how long. Because she went first, oh, and then okay. now, and then yeah. Okay, yeah, I just feel like she's missed a turn maybe, but we just took a long time. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So I'm just debating: do I just go in there and try to fight him again? Who's this with? Uh, Remy. Yeah, I would assume so. I, I like. What was the point of attacking him yeah. if you're just going to run from him before? Okay, one, I don't know. Like you you're thought right. you were going to kill him in two shots? One, He's not two, that type enemy. Three. We no, got a pound I know. on him. 
Okay, so let's do a free one first. Two white. Oh, man. Seven only, oh, but you can add two plus ones or seven, eight, nine. Uh, after making a roll, re-roll any of your die once per encounter. Sure. Do that. Don't forget you have this re-roll, too. You can do yeah, that. yeah. That's not used up once per encounter. Okay, but is this uh, re-roll any die? Okay, let's do that. I don't know. I know. That you, you can use that against you, too. You saw it yeah. first, but... Oh, yeah, okay. you have the re-roll on a short sword, too, that you keep missing on oh, one Oh, let's one use a short die. sword. Yes, yes, yes. So it's only, like, one die, I think. Oh, yeah, then let's use this, because I just re-roll sure. both of them. So I got 13. Uh, 13, 9, 10. So that's four. I'm up four. Then, so then it's each... armor. Uh, oh, sorry, I do all of it, and then... Oh, okay. Sorry. And then uh, plus one for star, so yeah. that's five. And then each two shields is another so two. Four another extra. Four. Okay. So we have nine. I backstab, or I sorry, I have um, two piercing armor, so he only loses one. So six damage goes through. Six on him. Uh, six. He would be at 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah, you're plus one. 16, 17. Okay. I have nothing else that gives me one more. So 12, 17, yeah, he's one away. What the heck? Nine minus one is eight. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, your math didn't seem right there either, but okay, I, I no. wasn't sure. I, I don't know what you had or what you did, so. Well, that's what I had. So 13. 13. Let's just add up everything on your side. Yeah, that's what I did. 13. 13. Then you decided you want to add some 14, to your attack 15, roll. 15, yeah. Okay, 15. 15. Then the two pairs of shields add another four. 19. So 19. The one star adds another one. 20. 20. He blocks nine. Okay. So that brings... Uh, he actually blocks 10 because... Yeah, because yeah. of his armor, you have piercing. So what, what is that left? Nine. Okay. I don't know what he's... Anything, what he started at, so... I, he had... Yeah. This. He, he was at nine. You added nine more. Then he would be dead. Then he would be dead. If you did your math right. Yeah, recalculate. I think I did something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Buell saying nine minus one is eight. I do know nine minus one is eight, but now I'm confused on where did okay. I make a mistake. So he was at nine health for sure, right? I'm not, I'm okay, 99% sure. So he has nine defense and three armor. You ignore two of the armor. So let's just say, you know, he's at nine defense. So you roll 13. I added six, not eight. Oh, he is dead. Okay, so I just added the wrong numbers. He's dead? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Sorry. <laughs> so, My God. <laughs> but if he's dead, then it's fine. <laughs> okay. Perfect. He's dead. Sorry. Seven, Seven. gold. Oh, math is tough. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of him. Okay. Uh, too bad you already moved. Uh, but I can... You did have nine? Thank you. Did you did have nine? Okay, thank you, thank you. I thought so. Okay, I can use a... a G oh, I can do this. I'll move adjacent. Uh, or oh, not, I can. you said nine minus one is six, like when you're oh. saying it out loud. She does it all the time, <laughs> says like random things, and I'm like, I, I, I lost me. I'll just let you go with it. I, I don't I'm even know. Sorry. Do your own thing, but it's probably wrong. <laughs> and then we'll get comments later that... Mel should have been dead here. Mel should have took two more damage here. Mel shouldn't have killed this monster. You guys would have been dead. You shouldn't have completed the scenario. You actually died two turns earlier because Mel miscounted. Happens all the time. No, but I think anybody that watches any of these games, I can do better math when it's not my turn. When it's my yeah, yeah. turn and I'm trying to like cal calculate all my stuff and make I, sure I trigger everything. That's why I everything. keep joking. This stupid tableau they got right. going here. This is like there has to be a better way to do this. This is like a mess. <laughs> but I can do math when it's your turn, and I just have to think of the numbers. And I don't mean a better way with the dry erase boards. I mean like a better <laughs> way to design your game from the ground up to like, like I feel like it's it's not the way. But then again, Sword and Swords was the same idea where we had yeah. like a hundred mini cards like yeah they going were like, like, all, all like over each five top, feet yeah. to the right and left, and it was yeah. like. Let's scan them all and see what we got going on here. Like, <laughs> exactly. I don't know. That's okay. You guys can laugh at me. It's totally know. fine. Um, it has been a long day. Uh, I'm going to move it to a diagonal. But again, uh, and then I'm going to spend one to check this loot, which is blue. Blue <laughs> is. Uh, the blue says you find a pile of treasure, gain 10 gold, and one random consumable. Okay, give us something we can use. Yeah, 
And we do, got to do the finger math here too. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Like sword and sword. Yes, I do do that. All right, I'm gonna cut it, and then off the bottom. Oh, throwing knives. Uh, that's me. Uh, and I can hold it because I've used all my consumables practically. Okay. Uh, I think she's done. Yep, she's done. Nightingale. <laughs> uh, yeah, middle finger plus middle finger equals Rob salute. <laughs> uh, no, I, Kevin, I, I'm talking from the point of playing one character. I'm I'm literally just talking about, and I was earlier in the stream too. Was just uh, Zeke. I'm looking at Zeke in front of me, and, and we're still like not even barely into this whole campaign. We don't have like you know eight of these cards to understand what's going on and which ones are which level and which ones have which cost and which ones exhaust which ones are once per encounter. It's just like, yeah, it's just uh and, we, and like I have nothing in his backpack or anything and just Zeke in front of me. Uh, even worse if I look at Nightingale, the card's going off shot. I look over at Zeke. I look over at R Remy. There's just like the tableaus are getting nuts, which I which I thought they would right from the beginning, but it's just like it seems like a messy way. And then, like, I even thought that before, this whole upgrades. How the hell are you supposed to attach these cards to cards that have values on them you're supposed to know and abilities and things on the bottom of the card? Like, I'm, I'm supposed to what? Put, the, put these underneath and then exhaust them all the time? Am I supposed to put them on top? Am I supposed to put them, like, on the other side of the table? Like, and then once you get a whole bunch of these upgrades going, like, it's just getting messier and sillier. And with the tokens all over the place, it's just... There had to be a better way in 2019 to design this game uh, with the whole tableau in front of a single player. It's just a mess. It's a poor design. Definitely a poor design. It just feels clunky and, and messy. I don't know. I'm, I'm not articulating it properly, but just I haven't played like a lot of the games like this. But I didn't feel like Gloomhaven was like this. You had your little board. You had your two decks of cards, and you had a hand. Very clean. Didn't take up a lot of room. So in Sorcery was kind of a joke too, how the cards kept going like yeah, it was. Yeah, crazy yeah. off the side. So that one, same complaint. Yeah, we had like cards all Except around each of our Except with that game, they were at least the smaller cards. Yeah. Yeah, they were all this, uh, like this size yeah. cards. But Lord of the Rings, Years of Middle-Earth kind of does it messy too. Yeah. Where you have a bunch of like little tiny cards. And on FFG, they're the worst putting like tons of text on tiny cards. So it'll have like three paragraphs of freaking ability on it, plus art <laughs> on like these little cards. So then you're like trying to figure out what was this one again? And you can't even see the art on it. It's so small. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just because all the big cards. But I think in... But what, it's big cards and tiny text. It's, yeah, and Christopher's saying the same thing. It's different side cards. It, the different sizes of cards are super confusing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Plus they're all around this, this like, uh, character sheet. Feels, like, too big. Yeah, this character sheet is, is definitely too big. Like, I know they paid for the art and everything. And they want to show it off. And they want, I guess, people walking by at a convention to see all this art. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, just... Like, come on, this 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 throwing knives really needed to be like this big. This card needed to be that big to show you this art of throwing knives that large to have a, this little ability on it. <laughs> like, this needed to be a small card. Like, yeah, why yeah. is that yeah, a big card? Yeah, because should have been small cards. Yeah, because you're just, throwing them away, right? It's just weird. It's just some bad decisions. I don't know. Yeah. But maybe it was just cheaper in the printing process or something. I don't know. Or it seemed cool on their giant table in their basement when they were designing the game. Like, this is so cool. Everyone's going to love it. Like, uh, not everyone plays on those kind of tables. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Okay. Nightingale. Rants over. Nightingale. <laughs> oh, Nightingale gets to go. <laughs> oh, she's still playing. Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. <laughs> I okay. know. It probably was a long so, time ago. So, uh, five SP total she's got now. Don't uh, worry about Rook. He's got some reroll stuff, I think. Rook's going down the hole, I feel. Or he'll just use the plank, worst case, and I'll buy another not plank. Not there. We need to use the plank here, so we're all not trying a 12 agility test to get across. Yeah. Okay. I know Remy can get but, across, no problem. But I have a feeling this is like a trap. I feel like we got to attack this thing before we get adjacent to it, was the idea. Too late now, unless her. She can do some spells on it. So maybe I try oh, yeah, that. yeah, fire on it and see. Wake it up that way. So you got in my way there, so going around is going to... I don't know if I can do much. Sorry. She has uh, five agility though. I can try to just jump, but then rerolls. I've used up like everything, so it's probably a risk, too risky. Uh, what's her perception? Only two, so she's not really going to help Rook out, but she could. She could if she stays near there. 
<laughs> go, go to hell, Dan. <laughs> he knows how to push your buttons. No, no, he's being funny <laughs> I know, too. Like he's, he's being funny. Everything fits great on my massive player mats. And Do you have them, Dan? You bought those mats? I want to buy yeah, them. They look cool. But I, I'm only, if I'm only playing this on stream and I'm never going to use them on video, then what the hell's the point? Yeah. But if I was playing this not on stream, which I doubt will ever happen, uh, yeah. At this point, no. No. Nope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to get into one, two, three, four SOI. Eleven. So she's only a six move. Eight. Ten. Eleven. And she can try one spell against it. And what's it rolling? It's rolling something. Oh. Eight. I think it had eight. The rules are hidden in red text, aren't they? Yeah, it was. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Oh. Uh, I don't trust the armor. Oh, I see. So it's like you don't trust the armor just lying on the floor. Maybe it's bad to attack it. I don't know. But anyways, uh, it has eight defense, but it rolls only two purple conviction. If you deal any damage, read the following. Okay. Oh, yeah, because you're firing something that doesn't have a card. It's going to wake it up, whatever the heck it is. It's bad to fire on this thing, I'm pretty sure. So we don't. But when we get adjacent to it, we read something else. So it's like, I don't know. At this point, like, who cares? It's just... Make more dumb decisions. I don't know. I, I didn't, in my it's defense, I didn't realize that all that bad stuff was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but I, I knew it was going to I thought bad. the animate was going to come up, but I didn't all right, know. So our I'm going to spend all of that SP. Why not? YOLO. Kill another guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The ward can... extends the SOI? Oh, I think you used it, right? Here, you used that one. Oh, it's been used. Yeah. Done and gone. All right. Uh, yeah, that was done to get our achievement. <laughs> I could go one more, but then I'm kind of in the way, but... It's fine, because Remy can fly right over you. No, no, but to lay down the plank. Who's oh, laying down Rook. this plank? Oh. Rook's got to get over there. Okay, sure. Um, if he makes it over the first hole. Uh, I'll just stay back one. And yes, I'm a four SOI from it. I'm gonna spend two. And you know what? Let's uh, let's do some euthanasia. So it doesn't have any casting. So this is gonna go through no matter what, right? N not correct. If you listen to what I just said, you it rolls two, two purple dice for conviction. Oh, for conviction. So I'm doing a casting die of white. Yep. Roll to five. Okay, it's okay. gonna roll two purples. Roll low, come on, lower than 11. Mm -hmm. I mean, 10 or less. I uh, rolled an eight, so that's okay. perfect. Uh, so I'll do six ma magic damage and give it wilt or whatever. Oh no, I read the text first. <laughs> if you dealt 12 or more damage, the pile of armor is sent flying off the side of the platform. Draw two combatant loot cards. If you draw the monster loot card, draw an intimate loot card, then discard the blue objective token. Otherwise, read the section below. Well, I didn't do 12 damage. I did 6 magic damage. So somebody would have had to, like... I don't know how you would even do 12. Maybe... Who the hell is going to start using all their crazy stuff? On a objective. Yeah, something you have no I idea. I guess unless you play again. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I know the game's, like, trying to hint at replays. And I know Kevin. Kevin always talks about, like, oh, on your second time through, you can do this on an encounter, or this one's not so hard because you'll know how to do it. Mm-hmm. But that's going the assumption someone's actually going to replay this encounter again. When there's so many other games out there and, and like, I know Kevin you went back and replayed like chapter one over and over again. But like, we plan on playing like the whole campaign. After we're done this game, I'm going to be sick of this game. That's for sure. <laughs> and then they're supposed to have two other acts coming out after. So who in their right minds going back through these scenarios, unless in the adventure, they send us back into these scenarios again. Which is why people keep talking about replays. I don't know. Maybe just, I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, so this whole, uh, like, oh, on the next time, we'll know that it does this. I, I like the surprises. I don't intend to play it knowing what's going mm -hmm. on. Well, like Buell says, I have a solo playthrough and I have a group playthrough. Uh, so I guess okay. in those kind of situations, okay. yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I just think the game loses some of the magic on the second time through, I would assume. Kevin says he shot with an Empower and got 12, and Edgar thinks that he got 14. Oh, nice. So I guess, it, yeah, I guess it is possible. Yeah, if it, you roll low on his, uh, oh, if you're attacking me, only has 8 defense. 
True. That's the other thing. I yeah. just did a crappy little spell. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Anyways, let's find out. But no, you, I'm just talking about you just said that, you know, like, oh, the next time you would know that you need to do it. Well, that's the like, way it's intent. It's, it's like, it's who wants to do that? It. Uh, the armor squeals and rise on the stone floor of the cave. Suddenly, the suit of metal stands and jumps through the air in your direction. The leap is impressive and unexpected. Roll the black die three times. If the skull is rolled, the creature dies trying to get to you. Okay, this, is, this is for me. Okay, Come one on, of Mel. these has to be a skull. There it is. Okay, thanks, Mel. Uh, <laughs> it says, otherwise, spawn an animate in an unoccupied normal train space adjacent to you. Oh, my God. I would flip the table at that point. <laughs> if I for three Another times Another animate? Roll, like, yeah. like, right against uh, Nightingale? Would just get killer. For yeah. sure, killer. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay. And then, just making sure there's nothing else. Yeah, my skull rolling is amazing. Oh, yeah, it would be making... Yeah, the animate would have attacked with a plus five to the roll. Okay, thank God. Like, yeah, it would have done a huge crazy attack on you, and then you continue your turn as normal. So then, technically, did we kill an enemy? And we get to draw loot and everything? Because it says it died, right? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Just as it try dies trying to get to you. It doesn't say it def was defeated or anything. I don't okay. know if it defeated needs to be like the key word for getting loot. Okay. I'm going to assume no, because it's like an imaginary. It was defeated? Yes, yeah. But it didn't even enter the board. But it tech It's like in story text. I don't know. It's weird. Because it didn't spawn. Like, how do, you, how do you defeat something that didn't spawn? Well, it didn't spawn because we killed it with the roll. We didn't kill it. I did. It killed itself down a hole. <laughs> if... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh so there's like... Yeah, yeah, everyone's got their own interpretation. <laughs> I'm sure there's an official answer in, in 16 different BGG posts that, that, that generated by this kind of stuff. But, but I mean... Most people are saying get the loot. Yeah, we rolled the fire it. Fire snake saying I doubt it, no actual enemy spawn. That's how I feel. It's like it didn't spawn. It's just like, well, whatever. We'll grab a loot. Why not? Yeah, why not? You rolled, so it spawned. Okay, sure. Five, oh, gold. five more gold. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and then technically we don't need an urgency token because we defeated a monster. Yeah. So I think that's good. Did okay. we remove this? Didn't say to. Okay. I don't think it did unless I read it and you didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. It said, um, yeah, it said if you dealt it 12 or more damage, it goes flying off the side of the platform, draw two combat loot cards. If you draw the monster loot card, draw the animate loot card, then discard the blue objective token. Otherwise, read the section below. Yeah, it didn't say to remove it, so... so I, again, I don't know. It was very clear that do it if you hit with 12 damage. But then we killed it, or like it fell on the thing, so it's gone, right? <laughs> Technically, like Don't we know. wouldn't we wouldn't keep firing on it. We wouldn't read it again when we get adjacent to it, would we? Uh, that's a different box. I, again, oh. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It didn't say to drop it unless we did twelve damage when we read that box. But I feel like we're not. Well, I guess yeah, you'd read the box again. Kevin says it doesn't do anything else. Okay. All right, so whatever. We, rem we remove it, or are we just no, ignore we leave it. it now? It's okay. Fine. Okay. okay. Um, Nightingale. Nightingale done. Okay, Rook. Well, he's gonna. Maybe yeah, I just see at this point if he can jump by himself. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I gotta spend one to move. Do I even bother, or does we just get her to fly over, and she stays on? They both stay on this side. Yeah, you're probably fine. I wouldn't. Even try fine? To jump okay, so then maybe he just stays where he is. Uh, one, two, three, four. So he's not in SOI to heal her, but I think potentially this would be it. So okay. Done. And then technically we killed that animate, so we don't have to get an urgency. Sure. Token. Okay. Don't jump. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's, let's not put Rook in a hole. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, Rook, Remy, Nightingale. Okay. Rook is going to pass. <laughs> uh... Remy, she's gonna gain one, two, three. So she's gonna spend two, two to fly, and she has seven. Now if you're okay with urgency tokens, like I know we'll start the next scenario. 
And hopefully Rook can heal her then. Yeah, because he does or have heal these, Zeke if we don't restore. If we don't restore. If we don't restore, which I don't think we are. Um, he's going to start at half. She's going to be pretty damaged. We'll be near him, but if he doesn't go first, then these guys run away from him. But I guess he'll move near them anyway and then yeah, do it again. I think so. Yeah, okay. Because he would have the same amount of tokens. Yeah. True. Oh, I guess I yeah, yeah, true, true. stand okay. all this stuff, whatever. Um, she's going to fly. I spent two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically, I got to read that when you're adjacent. But you can act like you went all the way around it. No, no, you'd still be oh, adjacent still no matter flying. what. Okay, so. So anyways, uh, it says, the pile of armor begins to shift when you get close. You tense, thinking that it will attack. Instead, it goes still and continues to rest. Discard the blue objective token. Oh. So if you just went to Jason with hitting it, like I assumed. Then nothing would have happened. Yeah, this all this all just like <laughs> having some fun poking at your first. I like, I like, I definitely think it's a cool first playthrough. I don't know, like, I, I don't think it would have the same magic playing through it again for sure. I do know? like these little like tricks and surprises yeah. and like. Like, I feel yeah. terrible about what happened to you. Like, terrible. No, but, that was but in, in one of the videos, it. in one of the videos, they did say, I remember when we were learning the game, they said, please do not rewind a bad roll or a poor decision or after you read something kind of idea because the game is balanced that you will make some bad decisions. That's fine. Some guys will get defeated. Some bad rolls will happen. It's balanced for that. So, like, don't panic. Just keep rolling. You'll be fine. So, yeah. Okay, so I landed on the blue exit. Uh, okay, uh, blue exit says, uh, spawn three animates, uh, even though you only own two, <laughs> uh, adjacent to every character, and then they are gonna kill you. Uh, <laughs> reward, each party member gains one XP. Okay. And then we continue to an alternate path on page 62. Yeah, which is just the next scenario. Okay. So no no restore adventures. So if I go to here. Uh, an alternate path to your next page. So it's a six six p or six uh tile encounter here that okay. we can play on Saturday, but there's nothing in between, no other story to read or anything like that. Okay. So that's where that's going. Hmm. So yeah, I, I don't want to try to start that one now because it's bigger. Yeah. Uh, this one we were able to do quicker, but, yeah, we, but it was only a small four four tiles. Yeah. Um, and we did it in like two hours. But adding those extra two tiles plus possible extra tiles you never know of uh, could easily turn that to a three or four hour, and I don't want to be playing till one in the morning. So we're just going to keep doing these one scenarios, I think, when we play on weeknights. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it'll be long. We'll be playing until like 11 or 12. Who knows how late it goes on one scenario. We've seen something get pretty crazy, especially when we go super AP into it and, you know, trying to debate what to do and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's going to be quicker, which is fine. Um, but yeah, we'll set it up for the next scenario uh, on Saturday. The stream is already scheduled. So if you go down in the video description, there's a playlist link. Uh, for anyone who's just watching this one out of nowhere and you want to see more, you can see our past episodes there in that playlist. You can see all the future scheduled ones in there or the future ones that have already happened if you're watching this many months or years in the future. Um, so yeah, just check out that and you can set a reminder if you're watching this live now. You can go set a reminder for the next episode. It's already scheduled. I believe it's 11 a.m. on Saturday. It's scheduled for right now. Uh, so join us for that. We're going to try to play at least two scenarios that day. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but it'll be a longer stream, so join us for that on Saturday if you're, if you're around. If you're watching later, it's all good. You don't have to be there live. It's all good. You can watch it later. Uh, but yeah, feel free to join in. Thank you everyone for today helping out with the jokes and the, and the comments and watching me fall er, to my death with Zeke. Uh, uh, see, um, again, that's my fault, no, not totally yours. No, it's totally fine. No, I threw you into a situation. It's just like, I just get frustrated by the animates. They're so annoying. Yeah. Like, Waterloo is like, I know Kanji was here earlier talking about the Waterloo is animates are yeah. like m the thing I hate the most. But it might be because I'm using the magic user and they roll like the teal and the orange on conviction. Yeah. So I feel like they have decent armor. I, my magic is junk against it because of the high conviction. And then because of the armor, my range dude doesn't 
you know, make that much damage against them. That's true. Unless we get the poison off, I guess. But then the poison has to go against the conviction of an orange and a teal. So it's just like, it feels like it has no weakness. But well, then its offense is so insane that it attacks like twice. Yeah. On the first attack each turn, if you're adjacent, it's rolling and power die. Yeah. Uh, if you're within its SOI, it's going to crush you. Like there's like this sweet spot where it's like not as dangerous, but it's like... Man, those animates, like at this level where we are right now, they they're disgusting. I think the armor piercing. I think that is good, and yes. I I don't. It doesn't yes. bother me as much because I have that. Yes, and I exactly. Think, yeah, yeah. If I had armor piercing on my characters or some way to manipulate their conviction or something, yeah, then then it'd be different. But yeah, yeah, I just hate those animates. So when we saw when I saw that drawn, and then it gets to do this extra attack on me, and it was like if this is Zeke who's not defensive. He's gonna get ripped apart by this thing. Not to mention the earth flow that yeah, showed up. Yeah, the earth flow that jumped out so of the ground, like, I, I was completely I just, shocked by. I just felt like the scenario that was excessive throwing all those at you right there. But I was correct assuming that those little cave sickles weren't going to be the only thing in the scenario. I had yes. this feeling that they hinted at the animate being at the end of the scenario, but I felt like there's going to be more off the totem. But that was insane. That was insane. That was. Um, they're asking if you want to read the other choice, if you had uh, picked the B option instead of the stand your ground Oh, or sure, sure. Yes, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I was curious. Okay, so my assumption was, what did I say? I said, you do probably an agility test. If yeah. you pass, the, it runs and misses you and falls down a hole. If you fail, you fall down a hole. Okay. That's what, that's my, what, that's what my guess was. Okay, let's, let's find out what B was. If the earth low running at me, I chose to attempt to roll out of the way. Okay. <laughs> it says B. As the huge creature barrels in your direction, you attempt to jump out of the way. At the last moment, make an agility 12 check, which would have been Zeke at agility of four. So that's why I picked the, I picked the strength again, because I had the same stats. When I looked at my stats, I have a four and a four. So I thought, hmm, standing my ground means I'm going to take a bunch of damage, but I probably won't fall down a hole. Yeah, because you were right beside a hole. But that's what I thought. That's what my assumption. So then it says, if you have an ability with dodge, you may choose to use it to pass automatically. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Oh, wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then it says, if you pass, the creature tumbles past you as you roll out of the way. Spawn the earth low on any unoccupied space adjacent to your figure. Oh. Okay. If this space is dangerous terrain, it tumbles off the edge and oh. is defeated. See? So we could have done that. Man, I have freaking dodged. Oh. Like, I have my t-shirt. I don't know if I had that at the time. I think I did still. Ready? Yeah, you did because you used it on one of their attacks. But he came out after the other guy. I think you used it on that big oh, 10 yeah, yeah. or plus 3 damage or something. I think I used it on the earth low attacking me. Yeah, so, you, so it would have had it. Oh, okay, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Actually, it just says if you have a dodge ability. It doesn't even tell oh, you yeah, you don't you have, have to, to spend use it. it. Oh my god. You no, it says you may use it to pass. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Then it says uh, if it's dangerous terrain, it tum tumbles off the edge and is defeated. So yeah. So I would have. You would have been. You were adjacent to both of them because you were here. Was I? Yeah. 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 Because yeah, I, I had to be a line of sight. Yeah. Okay. So I could have threw down a hole. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and then it says, then continue to turn as normal. If you fail the agility tech check, which I wouldn't have, uh, the earth loa catches you mid roll. Spawn the earth loa on any unoccupied normal terrain space adjacent to your figure. The earth loa makes an attack with plus five to the roll against you. You may not counter. And your turn ends. So there's no you falling down a hole, but there's a chance there it was, could have fallen oh, down a hole. Okay, okay. But I, there would have been no, I have a dodge. Yeah. But it, I mean, we could never have known that. Oh, man. See, I, I just don't know where it's going. Like, I, I have an idea of what could happen, but I think the worst case, right? Yeah. I didn't think there's going to be something like, oh, you're holding a shield, you auto succeed, or if you have a dodge. Now that we know those are things, it's like, now we can kind of assume, like, hmm. But I guess we should have, because that one that Remy did, where it was like, if you were flying, when it was down the oh, water. Oh, yes, It was yes, like, if yes. you're a flying character, then, or, or if you're flying, then. So, like, if you, you logically, know. thematically think that this would make sense for this character, you can maybe risk it or make this choice. Which I guess makes sense if you're going to yeah. kind of roll out of the way, would be a dog. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. So, <laughs> Z could have been an amazing spot there. But again, still, I would have still been pissed, because the animate would have been there. And the animate would still come up, do two attacks on him, or fire spells at him. All that stuff that happened, like a lot of the damage was from the animate. So it's like, and he yeah, was he's tough. harder to kill and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. That's, cool. that's definitely cool. I like that. Uh, all right. Uh, so I'm back tomorrow, live streaming at uh, noon Eastern tomorrow. I'm going to be playing a dungeon crawl, tabletop RPG dungeon crawl game. 
uh, on a digital table in VR. Uh, so join me tomorrow at 12 for the game Demio. Demio? I don't know how to say it, but anyways, we're going to play it. Uh, and it's going to be fun. So come and join me, and let me show you a dungeon crawl game uh, in virtual reality. And we'll have some fun with it. Um, and that's at noon. So join me for that. And then we're back on Saturday, like I said, 11 a.m. Eastern, continuing with Madara. Then Sunday, continuing with Arkham Horror LCG, Campaign of Forgotten Age. And then we'll have more Madara after that. Again, we'll do some weeknights next week too, um, just like we did for this stream, playing like one scenario. Sometimes it'll be long, sometimes it'll be short. Yeah, I like it. I'm itching right? right now to play again and continue because I feel like, you know, it's only 8.20 our time. But we did start earlier, so it's like, but you know, this yeah. just makes it easier for people to catch up and join the next stream. So it's not that bad. But so, so the way that you said you were itching to play again, you're not, you're not not having fun playing. No, I okay. I, I, I was just upset like with the you know he's with dead. The situation. I felt like he was just had no chance there against the okay. animate. And okay. He's not the guy you want up against an animate as your front line. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Not okay. not the guy because he will die. Like I always say, and that's what we just saw it actually happen. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. That's all good. Okay. He'll be back with his back in the scenario. Oh, and wasting all the consumables. That was the other thing. Yeah. I, was... I knew it was a risk every time I spent a health on a consumable. I felt dumb using blessings for three health. That seemed really stupid. So that's why I should have just used SP, but then I couldn't continue my move because I did some attacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know what I could have done there. But uh, anyways. Which is kind of crazy when the book gives you attacks. So it wasn't even like you had stopped your... Yeah, right, I know, was, I know. It was I know. the story that gave you attacks. Yeah. But again... But then yeah. I also countered and so, I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, but it makes sense. You're like, yeah, and your movement, this big uh, event happens, you're not going to get away. It just makes sense. Yeah, you're stuck there now. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Thank you for all the support on Patreon or those who click the join button down below here on the YouTube page and joining the channel, becoming members. Thank you all for that. Thank you for the support. Um, yeah. We'll see you in the next stream. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.